Um, oh, wait. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, more Xenoblade. Let's do it. Um, now, you might have you might have remembered we left off when Shulk um, ate Krispy Kreme, but he ate too much and he got sick. And then Ryan was like, come on, Shulk. You can't handle two donuts. I can handle seven of them. And so he eats seven in one go, and he he collapsed to the ground, and Sharla had to shoot him five times with healing bullets. Um, unfortunately, the, the stomach ache did not go away, so now he has the tummy heart ailment. And Dunban was like, yes, I can handle nine. <laughs> but you, you have to believe you can handle nine. Because if you don't, then you get the stomach ache. You simply tell your stomach to stop. And then Sharla said, all right, I'm out. And she left the party. Yes, the donut, the donut, yeah, the donut Chanis, yeah. Yeah, we made it to the donut Chanis, everyone, the third Titan. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's good, it's good to see you all. Welcome in, everyone. It's finally time. And, uh, if you don't know, once again, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Honestly, it's shaping up to be my favorite game of all time. Uh, it, it, it's really, this competes with Breath of the Wild a lot. But um, if you want to know my main inspiration for all the music I write and everything else, uh, it's it's because of this game. My favorite soundtrack ever made. And story. So yeah. Ryan sharts and dies emotional. It's true. He does. Um, He doesn't die. I'm just messing. I thought you were being serious until the Tommy Hort ailment. I didn't watch the whole of last stream. <laughs> Honestly, last stream was, it, it was half of me just exploring and getting through stuff and then the other half was full of like insane amounts of lore and story and cool cutscenes and now we make it to one of the prettiest areas in the entire game arguably the prettiest area in the game um and the music is great now i told you all that when it's nighttime at this place which is nighttime right now um like level 80 enemies appear so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun we're gonna do some grinding with the nicest music absolutely the nicest music this area is so pretty man it's so pretty Oh, you meant the end? Okay, okay. I see, I see. But yeah, it's good to have you back in, Kata. Love that melody so much. Oh, yeah. I, I promise I'll, like, I'll definitely get some more playing in a bit here. But I'm not bumping into 50 enemies, but man, it goes hard. Also, I really hope you like frogs. I think a lot of you like frogs, but I hope you like brogs. They're really, really big boys. They, they might, they might, they might turn you off a little bit, but we'll see. Um, also, uh, hey... Hey, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, but did you like my, um, did you like my, my tweet saying, enjoy 19 visions of Shulk? You get it? Do you get it? It's because of the trending thing today. It's because, it's because for some reason, Sony and Insomniac or whatever, uh, the, 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 the Spider-Man account thought, you know, thought, yeah, they, they, they were really funny with the words today. I don't know if you saw and Theta, thank you so much for the 34-month resub, dude. I very much appreciate that. Thank you for almost three years' worth of support. And I hope you continue to enjoy the Shadiation poisoning. <laughs> it's good to see you as always, man. I hope you're doing well tonight. Um, when I come into 19 Visions of Shulk... Okay, so... Um, the Twitter account... Uh, it was like the official Spider-Man account for like the game. And there's a Venom figure that comes with the special edition of the game. They legit said, enjoy 19 inches of Venom. Not, not, you know, get, get this 19 inch, you know, figure of Venom. They said, enjoy 19 inches of Venom. <laughs> so, on trending, the, 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 the trending uh, caption in capitals is, enjoy 19 inches of what? Or something like that. <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's, it's really good. So there you go. Some of us don't use zitter anymore. I got y'all. I got y'all. I can fill you in on, 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 on the hell that you were missing, which is good. It's good to miss the hell, but I, I will let you know. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna just not sub uh, any of the similar brog related names I just saw. Wait, what did you see in the brog related names? <laughs> what kind of curse are you doing to my boys? It's okay, I'm all about the Upas anyways. I hate these things though. The nebulas. These things take an hour to die because they're ether based. And I only have one like ether based user right now, and it's it's Charla. And her AI is pretty not great. In fact, I might run from this. That is not worth it. 
Should he bring in all the important news? Yeah, I got you. I won't tell you about all the depressing stuff. I'll tell you about 90, 19 inches of venom. Uh, I'll hide the uh, I'll hide the blue check mark uh, Twitter opinions from you all <laughs> that you don't need to ever know about. Um, this cloud got hands. That cloud has the most hands in the goddamn game, and then they choose to explode when they want to. They're like, "Oh, I'm losing. Guess I'll just die." <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Should I do it? No. Also, how's the volume chat? I want to get into something else here. So you know how we um. You know how we do our grain of salt moments whenever whenever the grapevine starts saying stuff about game leaks? And you know how um, sometimes when we talk about it, it actually does end up being real? So I want to manifest it. Okay. All right. Grain of salt, right? And see, so you, you don't have to be like, Shady, this is delusions. Stop it. Just grain of salt. All right. But pretty good on volume. Thank you. Broggers love... Oh, no. Yeah, that's not a good name at all. Oh, my God. Um, but yeah, okay, so, two, two very reputable leakers who have gotten stuff, like, super right before, like, one of them literally got the entire Direct right last time, like, not the, not the Mario Wonder Direct, but the Direct that Mario Wonder was announced in, like, he kept capitalizing Wonder, he kept posting emotes to describe, like, the games that were gonna be shown off, and they were all accurate, um, he's kinda, like, giving hints that, like, September 13th might have, like, a Direct. But according to him and one other leaker who got, like, a lot of shit right, they were, like... And they don't usually hype shit up. Like, the, <laughs> they're usually pretty chill about it. They were straight up like, yeah, this one's going to actually be kind of big. And I'm just like, what are they gonna announce? And then I was like, okay, I can think of, like, two things that they might not reveal, but at least say that they're going to reveal in the future. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. And thank you so much for the gifts of the Zelda Craft Soccer. And Zelda Craft Mad deserves it. They are a they are a regular around here, so thank you so much for doing that. I very very much appreciate that. Um, but also just know that my Monado only gets stronger every time you do that, which sounds like a really weird innuendo. <laughs> I promise that's not it. Also, did someone say I'm ready for like the like Thicko Blade or something? I swear I saw like saw someone say that earlier. Did someone say they wanted to see Thicko Blade or was I just imagining that? Um, 19 inches of Monado. <laughs> Oh god, and then Charlotte comes in with, my rifle's getting hotter. Good times tonight. Good times tonight. What does Shady and Chat hope gets announced What at, at that possible direct? Um... <laughs> honestly, honestly, I've gotten pretty much everything I've asked for. So here, okay. Not really. Like, okay. I might my, my pipe dream things that, like, may and may not happen. The thing that may happen is, like, you know, Zelda ports. I would still love Twilight Princess and Wind Waker ports. Um... I would love if we got a Xenoblade X, like, remake or port, which is super unlikely, but would be really nice. And, of course, Prime 4, which is just not real. Um, I think that's going to be a next console game at this point. But what I'm thinking is if it really is something that hype, uh, it, it could, like, I, I know that the Mario Switch is a thing, you know, but, like, I still feel like there's a possibility of them not revealing anything, but them saying, hey, we're going to talk about this new console of ours early next year. So, like, stay tuned for that. I can I can genuinely see that happening. It, like, it might seem like one of those impossible things, but it's been, like, what, almost seven years now of the Switch? Which is genuinely insane. I think them at least mentioning it could be a possibility. Um... Also, I, I also realize that the Mario Wonder Direct, I think one of the reasons they got that, like, quote-unquote, out of the way is because the day after was literally their convention thing that, they're, that they've been holding. And you were able to play Mario Wonder there. So if they had that demo there and they didn't show the Direct, then people would have, you know, given away details of the game without them doing it. Um, so I feel like that's why that was this one. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Either way, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I'll see myself as much as regular. Well, I recognize you. I mean, it's fair enough. I mean, if you don't want to be called that, <laughs> then I will call you a... I will call you a person. My my crazy terminology. Mario high on that crop. I <laughs> I didn't realize what you meant just now. I read that so wrong, and I thought you said Mario in a crop top. And I was like, okay. Ampy? Ampy, excuse me? Oh my god, Ampy! Holy shit, thank you so much for five gift subs. What the hell? Oh, well, first of all, hello. It's always a pleasure to have you in here, but thank you so much for doing that. That means a hell of a lot, MP. And it's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for that. What? Oh my god. If 
finally you did finally catch me streaming. How are you doing, Ampy? How's the um how's the job? From what I've heard, at least from Noma's streams and stuff. Everyone look. Seriously, thank you so much for that, and I hope you're doing very, very it's well. A group of Nopon. Here are some babies for you on screen. Not these people. I mean they can ah, be baby too, but some Nopon merchants. What do you think they're up to? They must be here for a reason. Oh, sorry, Let's go one and second. ask them. One second, chat. Good idea. One second. Okay. Oh shit, yo, Sakura, thank you for the gifts up to Ampy. You know what? Yeah, Ampy mad deserves it, especially after that too. But no, seriously, thank you so much for coming on by, Ampy. Thank you so much for the five a goddamn gift subs, and thank you, Sakura, for gifting Ampy as well. That 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 all just that all happened so fast. Oh my god! And Zelda Craft with a hundred bits and a hype train. Jesus Christ, everyone. Thank you so much for all the support. I I uh, I really appreciate it. Once again, you never have to do the thing, but thank you so much for doing the thing. Thank you for the hype train. And uh, just for that, I will go visit the babies for you all. Hype train. <laughs> we got the big. We, we we got we got the big hype train. Every hype train's big. I I realize I've been using like when I stream. Sometimes I visit the what? What? Visit the what? This is the baby. What is happening to my brain? Hang on one second, chat. Oh, my ADHD hit hard just now. <laughs> but yeah, okay, okay, okay. Welcome in. You said visit the babies. Oh, there's babies. Wait, Kay, you haven't seen them, have you? Okay, hang on. Wait a minute. You'll see the babies in a minute. They're actually a constant race in, um, in the Xenoblade series. And they're amazing because they'll either be the cutest things ever or they'll start a drug trade. It really depends. <laughs> It really depends on, on which babies you, you interact with. But there are... A what? Yeah, there's a drug trade. <laughs> in fact, it's in this game. You have to, <laughs> There's a no-bond drug leader, chat. Yeah. yeah, drug trade. And thank you, uh, Crusader, for the resub. Two years. It's a fairly lonely night at work, so I just decided to tune in. Well, hell yeah. It's a pleasure to have you in, man. And thank you so much for coming on by. I hope work is going well otherwise. And um, it's good to have you around. Um... Thank you, everyone, for fueling the hype train as well. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. The stream is buffering? It's not on my end. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it's not on my end. I could lower the bitrate, though, if it happens to a lot of people. Um, here are the babies here. See? No pun. Look how, look how tiny they are. <laughs> they're called no pun, and they are, they are the best. I still want a plushie of them really bad. Baby drugs. Hope you're having a lovely day. I am. I am. It's been full of armored core. It's been full of video games in general. Oh my god. This really is, I think, one of the best years for video games, like, ever. And it, it's probably because COVID delayed everything till now, so everything's just coming out exactly on this year. But it would be nice if, you know, it'd be nice if we have more years like this. It'd be nice if we don't have a bad year for games. An average year is fine, too. They're so round, aren't they? <laughs> Such little furry round orbs. I love them. Just little blubbies, even. No pawn eater? No. <laughs> you can't eat these lads. That's illegal. It's illegal. I won't allow this in my stream. They deserve to live. Look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> okay. Found an Etsy shop that sell sells felted plushies and no pawn. Really? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay. I might, I might have to get one. I might have to get a, a, a certain character that starts with R. That we're not going to talk about yet because they're probably going to be in this stream. But uh, I would love a plushie of them. Ah, oh, shit. We need clothes bad. Can I... I have some shit I can sell and put on. Hang on. I bet they'd be delicious. No, they wouldn't. I mean, they probably might taste like fried chicken. But no. Can I bite them? Bigot would play with them. Bigot would absolutely play with them. Absolutely. Um, Yeah, you can bite them as long as it isn't like too hard, I guess. You can like give a little nibble because they look chewy, I guess. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know these poor these poor things. I shouldn't be putting them up to this. I'm so sorry, little guys. I'm so sorry. God, we have no clothes that are worth it. Oh my sweet Jesus. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Well, since you all started a hype train, I'll do the thing again. I know you all like to see Ryan shirtless. So here you go. All right. You happy? Good. Let's see. E every every time we get something good like that, I will I will. Uh, I'll give you guys the benefit. <laughs> also, we didn't go make gems yet. We got to go do that still. I, we just haven't had the need for them yet because we, we've been doing too good at the game. Woo, let's go. <laughs> Chat. 
<laughs> oh, chat. All right, let me let me go sell my shit real quick. I mean, you're not gonna see him at the moment though until cutscenes because you know he's not in the party. I think the masses want shirtless. Du you want shirtless Dunban, Chad? You want shirtless Dunban? Okay, hang on, hang on. I'll put the shirt back on Ryan. You you can only get one, Chad. You can only get one. Uh, uh. Okay. Here, there. Are you happy? For only a little bit. For for a short amount of time. All right. <laughs> Streamer, your chat is unhinged. Oh, no. Nah, th this is very hinged, considering. <laughs> why not everyone shirt... Uh, why not everyone... What, what would it take for everyone shirtless? A level 5 hype train. For the for the, for the the beach episode. <laughs> and unfortunately, time has run out. So, no. It just can't... It just can't happen. It's impossible now. No, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. At least hurry up and sell some shit so I can buy some stuff. Oh crap, I didn't mean to sell that. Oh well, it's fine. Um, but I hope you all had a good weekend. Did you see the new outfits for FF16? They covered up Clive's tibbies. What's even the point then? Un literally unplayable. <laughs> I'm messing. I gotta go back to that game at some point. I really do gotta go back to that game at some point. I will say, and I mean like, the reason I, I, I decided to take a break from it for a bit is because like, I, I love that game. Like the hype moments were so damn good, but I, I realized I complained way too much about it on stream. I mean, it was like a personal thing. Um, it was mostly just because of the, the the talking to NPCs moments that I didn't like. Everything else I loved, like the characters and the story and stuff were fantastic. But I think I need to like give that game like a really chill chance um, and go back to it again sometime. Um, and I'm saying, I I'm saying, it's true. The, the, like Dunban's outfit goes like so damn hard. So I definitely want to put that back on in a minute. But let me sell some shit here that I really don't think I need. There we go. Okay, what can I buy for my lads here? Well, we don't need anything for Ryan right now because we're not bringing him back. Ryan's dead, everyone. I'm sorry. By the way, um, if you guys wanted to, if you guys want to know what the original story for this game was gonna be, because it's not related to like the story as it is now, um, originally, and you're 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 gonna be like, what? Originally, um, Charlotte was going to die. And Ryan was going to want to get revenge or something. And he ends up becoming... Like, he ends up... I can't remember if he travels to the past or something. But Ryan ends up becoming the villain. That was the original story idea. That Ryan would be, like, your best friend turned villain. Because he was, like, obsessed with, like, revenge and stuff. Um, Which, I'm glad it's not like that. Because we would have never had... To you! To me! You know? And that would have been really sad. <laughs> that would have been genuinely so sad. I don't think I can live without that, chat. Mm, good, good. Good. Wow, Dunban came, like, packed with good stats. He does not need a single thing from here. Do I want to add the extra weight for that much defense up? I mean, I could just, um... Get some pelt bottoms for my boy. Okay. We rock some kicks. Some Tims, if you will. Oh, yeah. We can give that to Sharla. Okay. All right, we're good here. We got to upgrade our arts more too, but let's put on some cool clothes, yeah? This is the prep part of the stream. I've never seen anything Xenoblade related, so I don't get what's happening right now. Well, it would be incredibly hard to explain. All I'm going to say is you're in for a ride no matter what. Welcome back in though, Alexa. Also, look at my little wing hat. You guys like my little wing hat? <laughs> I think I got her one too. Oh shit, hers looks sick. Hers looks sick. Looks like a Niji Sanji uh, VTuber. <laughs> Okay, I think I got her an Aqua Top too. Um, interesting design. Okay. Got some beach bangle, some pelt bottoms. And you know what? He's looking a little less dripless now. He's still a little he's still a little Oh, never mind. Never mind. Charlotte's extra dripless right now. What is the what is this outfit? Girl? What did I just put you in? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, but we have to commit to we have to commit to the outfits. <laughs> I do love the head the head crowns though. Shulk in his VTuber phase. <laughs> he's he's an Enna fan. They're both Enna fans. <laughs> oh my god. The Zekens are back. What's going on, Node? Welcome back in. Hope you're doing well. Don't worry, I can sum up the first game in two words, the Monado. <laughs> Monado boy. Oh my god, is that snail cake? It's the snail's birthday, by the way. Help him blow up the candles, he's small. No. I will. I will, I will kill the immortal snail. This is a game about defying the odds, and I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling inspired. 
I will kill. I will kill the immortal snail chat. Nah, it's fine. I'll blow up the candles. Thank you so much for the $5 donation, Ralph. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for all the support tonight, by the way. That, that's a pretty crazy start. Um, so I hope you continue to enjoy your time around here. And just know that your money goes all toward um, subbing to uh, uh, various um, uh, Shady Cicada OnlyFans accounts. OnlyFans.com slash Shady Cicada. Watch, it's true. You'll see. Okay, I, I keep making this joke, and then I have to keep going. Yeah, I don't. I, I do have an OnlyFans, but there's nothing on it. I just took it so I can keep like I can have the name, so no one will take the name. Because in the past, I've had like people who enjoyed impersonating, and uh, I think I've told you all about the Tumblr thing, right? Can the snail sub to the OnlyFans? He could if he wants. I, I think I only die if the snail physically touches me. So if the snail wants to support me monetarily, like, I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. It's first Xenoblade. I never beat it, but I loved when I played. Well, hell yeah, dude. Um, well, I hope you enjoy the ride nonetheless. Welcome back in, Bomb and Ramen. And uh, what's the Monado? It's the sword that I have. So, okay, brief, brief thing about the sword itself is that um, the sword is very strange. No, Pretty much no one can wield it um, because it'll, like, straight up just, like, kill them. For some reason, Shulk can. And when he wields it, he's able to see small visions of the future. Um, the kind of warn him about, like, imp like, you know, impending death and doom. And funny enough, it can actually happen during gameplay. It'll be like, this is how you're gonna die in 10 seconds if you don't find a way to stop it, which is really cool. Um, but it also, there's a lot more to it. Please explain the Tumblr. So, someone named themselves Shady Cicada. And, um, they just shared copious amounts of homoerotic, uh, not safe for work material on their feed. Which is whatever, they can do what they want. But every time people would like search my name up, there were there were times where it would show up in Google results. So I was like, hey, um, I don't know if it was like coincidence or not, but like, would it be possible to like change your name? And they were like, yeah, sure, why not? I sh sure. And then they didn't. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try the next best thing. So I made my own Tumblr, and I made it popular enough to knock him off of the Google results, and now he doesn't show up. And then his account got deleted. So. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to get his account deleted or anything. I was just trying to push him off the, 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 the Google results, but yeah. Um, it's funny, though, because I haven't used that Tumblr since. So if you if you visit my Tumblr now, it'll probably say something like 23 years old. <laughs> Which is wild. Baby Shady. Baby Shady. Anyways, Dunban's doing his thing. So the, the, the beauty of Dunban, by the way, and why I replaced him with... Um, or why I placed Ryan with him is because Dunban is also a tank. He's also an aggro tank, but he also has really high agility. So on top of being like the person you can't like hurt that much, you also can't like land hits on him a lot. Um, so he's kind of, he can, he can be kind of busted if you upgrade him right. Um, I'm not good with the Xenoblade meta, but I, I do my best and Dunban helps. That's so good. I'm jo choking on Dr. Pepper right now. Let's go. Let's go to Dr. Peepus. That's what he was sharing on his feed. <laughs> there might have been a character named Dr. Peepus on that feed. Naked Dunban best build. It's true. So, to those who don't know, if you upgrade him a certain way, I, I can't remember if it's a skill tree thing or something else. Someone in chat told me last time. Um, then there's a thing where you can actually get him to have higher agility if you take his shirt off. Which goes pretty damn hard, I'm gonna say. I gotta say. Oh, by the way, um question would you still be interested in a possible Baldur's Gate stream starring Flogard? it would be a chill stream like this nothing like big but I figured that can be kind of fun I've been playing some BG with some friends and oh man that game can be really funny and I was like damn with a character like Flogard. okay but but the question is chat does Flogard have charisma or none see I feel like I feel like he's just like handsome himbo man but when it comes to talking to people I don't think he's like he's not good at talking to people so, does that give him charisma? Like, he could, I guess he could have charisma, but he, but he could be bad at, like, intelligence and, like, persuasion. He probably wouldn't be good at persuasion. He's good at, like, intimidation, though. He's definitely intimidation. Also, if you guys wonder why I'm just fighting all these enemies like this, is because grinding... Because uh, I'm not doing a lot of the side quests, so grinding is something that I very much would want to do before I get stuck on a boss for, like, 15 hours. Floyd has zero charisma, he just stares. I can absolutely see that. Like, I, I can honestly see Flogard. He's kind of, um... 
Like he's, he's like socially awkward in a confident way, which sounds weird. But like, I feel like he just doesn't know how to fully talk to people, right? Because he's very concerned with like his own level 82. Okay. Nope. Let's, let's go, everyone. Nope. We're not dealing with that. We're not doing this. Hell no. Hell no. I'm out. <laughs> no, 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 no. If Floyd has charisma, it's entirely by accident. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Like, he, I can see him accidentally, like, rizzing his way into, like, a situation. No charisma, but tries his best. <laughs> Ooh, future sight. Okay, fine. Um, also, I'll have to, I, I, and like I said, I'll make people sad, but I will have to disable, uh, any kind of nudity, just in case. Twitch says it's fine. Um, but, okay, Twitch's rules are kind of hilarious, because it's, uh, not safe for work in an official game is allowed, just don't hang too long on it. Or something like that. And it's like, well, what if, like, the scene is long? <laughs> what, what, what do I do then? <laughs> what do I do then? Um, but yeah. I, I don't know if I want to take any risks. Because someone might have a trigger finger and be like, Oh, I saw Booby. You know? He has confidence, which can be attractive, but he's also a complete doofus otherwise. Exactly. Exactly. That's, like, the perfect way to describe him. To those who don't know, who don't know Flogard, he's, a, he's an OC. That me and chat... And Stray Rogue came up with. Stray Rogue is uh, an artist in the community. Also the creator of Bongo Cat. And um, he's just like a himbo nightman. And every time we have a uh, game where we can customize a character, it usually stars him. Which adds to his story. Did he say Born in the World of Strife? Did he do it? Ah, oh, shit, I missed it. It's okay. We'll make, we'll, we'll, we'll make, we'll make the man do it in full audio. <laughs> What's Twitch gonna do? <laughs> you mean, yeah, yeah? Yeah, the site, the site I stream on? Shady, what is this party? Wait, hang on. That's the wrong shirtless man? Oh no, are you- Are you sad? Are you feeling hurt, Mel? Wait, you're the one who said Thick of Blade Chronicles or something earlier. It was you. I was trying to remember who said that. What's wrong? You don't like Dunban, Mel? Is Dunban- is the, Okay, wait. Is Dunban not your type? Is- is- is it just Ryan? Wait, where am I going? You get it? <laughs> Everyone wants sh shirtless Ryan more. All right, you know what? I'll swap after this fight. I will swap it back over. How about that, chat? In fact, you know what? I'll leave. I maybe I could just leave him shirtless. Maybe. Mel really just says. This. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Cause at least we're not talking about 19 inches of venom anymore. Enjoy 19 inches of venom. They knew what they were doing. There, 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 there's like, there's straight up no way that that was a mistake. I refuse to believe that was a mistake. What? Oh, did you not? Okay, Mel. So for the Spider-Man game, uh, the official Twitter made a tweet talking about um, uh, like a venom figure that you get with the game. But the way they said it was they, they, they said, enjoy 19 inches of venom. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi, Adgon. <laughs> Very lovely for you to come in at uh, during this story. H how you doing? It's good to see you. Welcome in, everyone. Have you all been enjoying 19 Inches of Venom lately? Please tell me at least one of you in, in, in Adgod's chat knows about that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You want to start this game so bad? Dude, this is one of my favorite... This is my favorite game of all time next to Breath of the Wild. Favorite, like, story in anything ever. And my favorite video game soundtrack ever. Like, it's just... It's just... Such a near perfect game to me. So full recommend. And if you do try it, uh, you gotta let me know. Um, I, I love I love seeing people's exp uh, experiences with this game. But yeah, welcome in everyone. 19 inches of who now? So if you don't know on <laughs> on on the Spider-Man Twitter for the game, uh, you can get a 19 inch uh, Venom figure. But the way they worded it today was enjoy 19 inches of Venom, and it's been trending because of that. <laughs> They, they they definitely had a way they definitely had a way of words with that like they knew what they were doing they knew what they were doing um but hello everyone welcome in thank you so much ad god and uh yeah er hi everyone i'm shitty cicada i'm a variety streamer i stream all kinds of games i love me my nintendo stuff my jrpg stuff uh, my favorite games or my favorite series are zelda and xenoblade and my full-time job is a video game composer slash youtuber slash this i do it for a living um if any of that sounds like a stand your alley and you're down for like some, you know, some real chill times, feel free to stick around. But if not, thank you so much for coming by and saying hey. That always means a lot as well. Um, it's good to see it. That's brilliant. No, I, I would, yeah, like, I'd absolutely be like, 
Like, I, <laughs> I, I welcome, I welcome posts like that that don't like fully give it away, but they kind of do. You know, I like that. I also like that if like people are commenting about it, the person who like like the OP doesn't like respond with like an eyes emoji or anything. Like they don't play into it. They just let it like simmer. I feel like that's definitely the right way to do it. Ooh, that's a level 83. I'm not dealing with that. Nope. Nope. We're not doing that. Not today, friends. Um, Venom is coming out with a new movie soon. Is he? Holy shit. What's the duration? 19, 20 inches? I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> that was stupid. That was stupid. Let's keep going. <laughs> Bro's voice is crazy soothing. Oh, that means a lot to hear, Caitlin. Thank you so much. I am, uh, I'm always happy to hear when my voice is something that is not, uh, jarring. Which... I've never had that comment yet, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. It's like the Nintendo tweet about Mario and Cats. Oh, God. Okay, wait. Okay. Let's talk about Nintendo's tweets for a minute. Because they've had that. They also... I remember back in the day when they were trying to be very meme-heavy. Back in, like, the Wii U days. Um, they had one where it was Wario saying... It was like a spoiler post, and it was like, You expected to see Reggie twerking? Well, it was just me, Wario. And then there's the worst one, which I'm not even going to say it because I just, I can't. But you guys remember the Wiggler one, right? <laughs> like, you, you guys remember the Wiggler one, right? Like, that, that, that tweet has an anniversary. Like, people, like, every year people tweet about that one. Yes? Okay. Okay, so you know, you, you, you know, you know about that one. All right. Share? Okay. I, I, I can't, like, outright say it, but I'll at least tell you. So... Back during those meme days, they had something where it was like, it was, um, it was like, like for Waluigi Wednesdays, um, retweet for Wiggler Wednesdays, but they left out the L in Wiggler, which is just so unfortunate and just so, just so bad. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what that turned into. Um, uh, oh, I'm, I'm also very excited for the, the Mario side scroller. Um, honestly, like, if, if that Wonder Flower is in, like, most levels, I'll be so pumped on that. Because that, that way you can make every single level have, like, some crazy unique gimmick. And when they showed the, um, during the Direct, that one perspective change one, where it's like Luigi was in, like, a top-down perspective, that was, that was just so awesome and creative. I think the only things I was really unhappy with were, like, some of the areas just being, like, grass and lava and stuff again, which, like, once again, they can find a way to make it original. I, I don't want to judge before the game is actually out. And the other thing is Yoshi being, like, forced, like, babby mode. I would've, it would've just been cool to have Yoshi controls, but also take damage, but, like, it, it's fine. Like, those are, like, the very small issues. Um, the game looks super, super cool. Yeah, the new art style looks great. The new art style looks really, really, like, neat. I do like people taking that more cartoony vibe. Um, Juju, you can't fart, remember? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, wait, where did we get to Juju and farting? What happened here? Juju the god from Xenoblade? Like, THE god? Buggy Crasher Juju, the most pro driver of all time, crashing on a straight bridge. Yokes roasted my voice and she knows I'm very insecure about it. Yokes, how could you? How could you roast someone's voice like that? That... I don't know if I can appreciate your company here now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, God can fart? Yeah, it's called... Uh, I don't know. Wind. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have a bit for that. I don't have a bit for that. I'm just going to say yes. I'm going to say it. It's actually in the Bible. There's actually one whole page where it just goes. This lamp. Did you guys ever get to that page? Oh, it wait. Cuts in. It has a very strange glow. It's a remnant of Thunder, the thank you. Interior. They've hidden themselves away in the upper reaches now. But at one time, they controlled this whole area. Good mm. for them. <laughs> it's the perfect place to get some shit. All right, Ryan. The Ryan's like, I don't care. The monsters away. We'll be safe if we rest here. So remember that the High Entia are like an ancient, like advanced race that we just found about, uh, found out about last stream. We haven't met them yet, but we do another thing. Also, um, sad moment. Oh, by the way, to those who don't <sighs> know, so that Shulk's uh, love, and she got mer um. It's so peaceful. It. The you know, prologue's Shulk, not happy. I hope every day can be like this, always. Oh, man. Well, I mean, here, it's gonna, they're gonna show you, I guess. But... Oh, my... No. Um, this thing, Impaler, 
and she's dead, and we're there. It's a revenge story right now. Shulk's trying to take you them all out. Pay for what you've done. And this is a future scene. We don't know what this is yet. This is a vision of the future. We're trying to get to this point. You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! We don't know who the Emperor is. What is that, chat? What was that part of the vision? The future. Hmm. Has it been that long? Dixon. I'm open to story theories again, by the way. 14 years since I found you on that mountain. Seems like yesterday. Shulk's 18, by the way. At least I'm pretty sure. I think all the characters are 18 or above. Or something. Some are way above, which awesome. We need we, we need games with older characters. I owe it all to you. If you hadn't found me that day. Even I Juju? Never mind. Juju's like two. World. Forgive me, Shulk. Sorry I couldn't save your folks. Mm. Don't be. Now I think about it, that was when I found the Monado as well. That's right. This might be crazy talk, but maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher plan. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much at all. But I know that my mum and dad left me it. The Monado was their final gift to me. At least, that's how I used to think of it. That's yeah, why I want to know. discover its true power and help defeat the Mechon. But so far, I've just been creating piles of mech on scrap. So you don't just want to study it in a lab after all. This sword. There mm -hmm. must be some way. Mm -hmm. Higher plan? Juju's going to be Charles' older brother? Finally oh, God. Decided to join us, he is God. He's been around Sorry, guys. Before. Didn't sleep a wink. Right then. Time to move on. How far now? We'll be there soon enough. The high Thank you, Axel Rose. Are just ahead. Your personal head cannon is at Juju. Oh, wait, Juju is with us. What? I didn't know he was still with us. And Thoron? I forgot about that. Cool. Othoron and Juju are still with us. Oh my god. Yeah, look, there they are. Look at their face. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. All right. We're, we're busy talking shit about Juju, and he's like right here, just like standing hearing us the whole time. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash my car into you. Which, by the way, he would miss. If he was aiming for us, he would miss. Juju, like, cannot drive a buggy for the life of him. We're talking about different Jujus. Oh, there's different Jujus. There's different Jujus. Who the hell's the other Juju? I feel like, oh, or, 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 or are we just trying to say that so Juju won't hear us? Of course he would miss bro. Bro doesn't want to hurt you. <laughs> are you saying Juju's... Are you saying Juju is a merciful god? Merciful means like good, right, chat? I, I don't remember. Yeah, merciless is... Yeah, okay, yeah. If he's full of mercy, it's good. Yeah, okay. Words. I'm Juju. You're Juju? But... But... I'm Juju. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't realize pitch shift was on. Oh, yeah, oh, there's. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. We have, we have, we have Juju Ju. See, we have triple Juju, Juju Juju. <laughs> well, yo, actual Juju in chat. All right, Juju Juicy. Do you think you could take this Juju in a fight? Yo, and Juju and another Juju with a sub. I'm sorry. How many <laughs> Ju cubed? <laughs> Jujubes. How many how many jujus do we have in chat tonight? Oh my god, thank you, only smiles for the kiss of the juju. I'm glad, I'm glad he, uh, you know, it, it makes me humbled to know that even God needs a sub to watch my um, streams ad-free. I like to know that Twitch doesn't discriminate and that Juju himself has to go through 10 ads before watching 5 seconds of content. Oof. Oh, that's not gonna be fun. Okay, hang on. I can change. I can change the future. Boom. There you go. So there you go. That was me seeing the future that like Dunban was gonna die. But I gave him a speed move so he could dodge it. Unfortunately, it decided to go for Charl instead. So uh, good job. Now we're good. We're good. Will the real Juju please stand up? Okay. 
upstairs. The reason I sound so far, the reason I sound so far from the mic, by the way, is because I'm 70 feet tall and really handsome. So that is why when I stand, I am so far from the mic. It, it, it hurts being this tall and handsome. I'm sorry. I know. You must be jealous. Can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so tall. All five, six of me. <laughs> no evidence. <laughs> nah, I got like a Zonai build. If I was like a short Zonai. There we go. You must have a hard time getting around inside buildings. No, because like I am a building. I just live amongst them. I just live amongst the buildings. Bailzeb Gogol. Bailzeb Gogol. Yo, the ultimate juju juju of all time. Sorry, I can't think of the name. That's so many jujus. Holy shit, the singularity. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, no, never mind. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Oh, I changed my mind. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I actually tanked a hit from him. Um, thank you so much for the gift sub. What the hell? Please tell me he has a profile picture. Lame. He doesn't have it. Lame. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll let it slide. You can take him? I can't- yeah, the big Gogol? You sure? You sure about that? I'd rather take an Aqua- actually, no, I would rather take the other thing instead of a Nebula. Screw these things. You know, that just reminded me, there used to be someone who used to come here called Nebula Bebula. And I still think about that name sometimes. Kind of like when my, um, when my family met these two people in Guyana named- like they were twins and their names were Philip and Dillip. I tell this story often. That that's the whole story. But I have to wonder why they actually named that kid Dillop. <laughs> yeah, Dillop, Philip, and Dillop. Just, just so it would rhyme. But can you take Venom? Can anyone take? Ve you know what? I don't even want. I don't. I, I don't even want to wonder. The Super Mario Brothers wonder. Through that entrance, you gotta go through Magna Forest first. Prison Island is at the Bionis Head, just above Magna Forest. Oh, shit, we're Forest. getting there. It pains me to say it, but this is the point where I turn back. I'm surprised you made it this far. I must see to the survivors, and I'm also very concerned about Colony 9. I understand. Thank you for everything. Juju, you stick I around, though. We need you. I have a few things I shouldn't have back in the mine. Forgive me. No, nah, that's fine. It's okay. Shaw kind of deserved a bit of it. I owe you my life, young man. I'll never forget it, heir to the Monado. He has Medic, like. Will you stay with them? He has like this borderlands, I, borderlands I outline to, help to him. Shulk. The Mekon must pay for what they did, and I'm sure Gado is still alive somewhere. If he is, I have to find him. Find him for me too. Good luck, Sharla. I want to go with Atharon. Are you sure? Yeah. I've never seen anything cooler than Shulk smashing Mekon with the Monado, but I'm just slowing you down. No way, kid. You just need to shape up like me. <laughs> it's okay. I've made up my mind. Compared to you guys, I know I'm pretty useless. <laughs> but that's cool. Because I know what I can do. Nothing? I'm going to go I'm back to the colony and help the survivors rebuild their that's, lives. That's, that's pretty admirable, Juju. Proud, kid. That's pretty admirable. Good luck, Juju. Oh my god. Thanks. Shulk, Ryan, keep Sharla safe for me. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Ryan didn't even say anything. He just did the... Yeah. Dixon, are you leaving too? The Mekon may be gone from Colony 6 now, but that doesn't mean we've seen the last of them. When they launch another attack, and they will, Colony 9's gonna need my help. Yeah. I guess you're really needed at the Colony. Goodbye, Dixon. This ain't the last you'll see of me. You should be all right for now. Look after the Monado. You can bet on it. We won't let the Damn thing's been down. looking out for me. You'll make us proud, Shulk. Yeah, yeah? You, on the other hand, need to buck up your ideas. What? <laughs> How else are you going to protect Shulk? <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Dixon. Be creative. Good luck. You meat man. See ya. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Dixon. Hmm? Can't say I feel so good about deceiving these kids. What? Huh? What's that you say? Oh, just mumbling. Forget I said anything. 
Hmm? What does it mean? What does it mean? And have a good night, Yokes. Thanks for coming on by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope to see you again if you did. But if not, thanks for just coming by and hanging. It means a lot. So this is one of the this is one of the times where the story is very not subtle, or is it? Maybe it's a good thing. Oh, you didn't hear anything. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, not me either, actually. Dixon's a cool dude. And uh, I don't question why he just, like, says shit sometimes, you know? Um, no, nah, but for real, though, it could be something good. I could be half lying to you. Um, so, if you go back to Juju, you can reconstruct Colony 6. Um, here's the thing, chat. To reconstruct Colony 6, um, you pretty much, unless you know how to break, like, you know, the meta of this game or, like, get real good at the meta, um, that, that quest will have you at, like, level 99 to complete it fully. It, it's a lot. You have, you have to, like, get materials from, like, later in the game and stuff as well. It's a pretty, it's a pretty crazy one. Oh, uh, wow. The baby for all okay, I'm, I'm, I'm guess I'm doing this for us. Amazing. I never think home home would come here. <laughs> there, there, <clears throat> there are lots of ancient high end ruins around here. You come, you come to find weird things to sell? Huh? You want to go to t top bit of Bionis? I tell you how for free. You need to do ancient high end your coming of age ceremony. You know what about it? It tests for high end boys to come men. To come men. To come men. To come men in olden days. What? First, you need to find offerings scattered around Satoru. Then put on adulthood emblem in front of Sororo statues. That will open path to top of Bionis. This the only way. So, I mean, um... This the only way. It dangerous, be careful. Alright, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Skibbity Pawn. I will... I will... I, for, I forgot to say... Osmo Pawn merchants can sell you everything you need. Cool, thank you. Alright, it's time to... Uh, it's it's time to find stuff, chat. It's it, that that's all. That's all I was gonna say. It's just time to find stuff. Yeah, let's go. Let's go get the stuff. Yeah, throwing a bar mitzvah right now. Your mazel tov, right? Is that the mazel tov one? Where you like crush a bottle? Sell me league skins. You want to sell? You don't want to sell you like Genshin, like I don't know, like primo gems or something, Mel? I thought you'd be more all about that. Sell me milk. <laughs> I don't know. If he could sell me a new 3DS with the Monado cover, which, by the way, like, I want it so bad, but it's just too much. But, like, if he could sell me that at a low price, I would buy it off the Nopon. But knowing, you know, the Nopon seemed like the type to, like, actually hike up the price. Pirate controller? Ooh, I actually have it. It's my favorite one. I used it the last few streams for Xenoblade. It's just charging now. You want to see bagged milk for real? It's pretty fun to like hold. It's very uh it's it's very squishy and, and, and jiggly. It feels like you're cradling a baby who does not want to be cradled, you know? It's wild. Wait, anything are they selling Monados? They might. You could ask them if they have any in stock. Oh god. The chatter is high. Let me lower the volume again. Wait, Shady is actually charging a controller? I know, I know. In fact, Marisa, you're gonna be very impressed. I'm charging two controllers. <laughs> I'm charging two. I know. It's so funny, though, because I swear I charge them often. It's just whenever I stream, all of a sudden, like, the controller is just like, I'm going to run out so chat can see and, and put you to shame. Every goddamn time. Who are you and what have you done with Shady? I charge my controllers, chat. I charge them, I swear. Your wife is a controller? At the moment, yeah. But I also have a, like, she's one of the only figures I, like, I own. Like, I have a pyro figure. The official one, not the, uh... Not the, uh, not, not, not the unofficial one. <laughs> Eyes emoji. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Well, it's up to you, Sharla. Did you get the amiibo? Yep, I have Pyra and Mithra, the Pyra and Mithra amiibos. And they look awesome. In fact, the quality is a lot better than the Shulk one that I have. Um, I'm very happy about it. Oh, oh, along with those, um, supposed leaks, by the way, chat. I forgot to mention another thing. You know, once again, grain of salt. But these do come from people who guessed, like, everything right last time. Um... There's news about something Smash Brothers. There's possible news about something Smash Brothers later, but not... Not essentially, like, fighters or anything like that. But, um... So, like, first thing is that, you know, GameCube controllers are back in print in Japan. 
or like they're being made again, which the last time they did this was when there was Smash stuff. Um, a lot of the Smash Amiibos are getting re uh, reprinted, except the branding on the box no longer shows what consoles they're for. That's been scrubbed for some weird reason. The website's been up uh, updated. Apparently, the, apparently the uh, like the accessories tab or something on the website, if the Japanese site or something, is gone. Um, and a lot of these, you know, people who've gotten stuff right in the past are saying, yeah, there's something that's going to happen with Smash. Not necessarily a, um. Not necessarily a fighter thing, but it's also not necessarily just a patch. Like, it's more than a patch. And I don't know what that could mean. It could mean, I don't know, better online? More stages? Maybe they do something like Mario? They were comparing- they were like- they were comparing it to like Mario Kart. Um... So I- I- I, I don't know. I don't know. Was there a professor late in anything? Um, no, but I'm pretty sure the official account said that at TGS they're gonna talk about stuff. Like- like yesterday, the Twitter account was like, hey, we're gonna talk about more stuff at TGS. Um, I could be wrong about that, though. So that one's not even a leak. But, um, yeah, there was talks about that and some other shit. But, yeah, um, it, it's coming from, like, a dude who, like, guessed, like, everything right on the last direct. <laughs> well, not even guessed. Like, he obviously knew. He had, like, access to it on YouTube or some shit. I don't know how it works. But, um, yeah, that, 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 that's kind of the circle right now on a stuff. Better Online would be very awesome. It would actually make me want to play the game again. Like, I, I love playing it with my friends and stuff, but, like, honestly, online, it's been... Honestly, playing it online with you guys on stream has been pretty alright the last few times. But there were times where it was atrocious. Possibly more DLC for Smash or something bigger. I'm thinking... I don't know. I don't know. Like, it could be, in, in my eyes, if it really is something and it's real, it could be more stages. And, like, slightly better online. But if they really want to make, like, my day personally... Personally, my day right here is... A story mode <laughs> which like probably will never happen but i want it and yeah oh yeah only smiles that's the other thing that people were talking about the whole no one mio amiibo thing we haven't even got to see them yet and they were announced so far off that there's like this small small assumption that it might not just be for xenoblade 3 um and could be related to that but i don't know who knows god please i know i know i'd be so happy i would be very very happy the only online I've done the past few years has been with friends or here or on DJ streams. I feel that. I don't I don't think I like casually do online on my own anymore unless it's like Monster Hunter. And even then I haven't done that in a while. I did beat Sunbreak though. That final boss was actually really cool. Um But yeah. Okay, wait, he's got the aggro. Good, good, good. What are we doing again? Oh yeah, we're doing the we're doing the trials. That's good. It's gonna be good for grinding. Sunbreak. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> that would summon UK. When are you, oh, when are we playing Mon Hunt? Oh, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I have to remember. I have to remember to hit you up on Discord. In fact, I'll write it down. While Shulk fights here, I'm gonna make a note. Contact K about. Why do I have eight? What do I have eight Notepad things open? What the hell? Guess I had a lot to say recently. Luxray, Fungus, Ponyard, Fluttermane, Mankey, Ditto, and Clauncher. Why is that here? Why is that just written here? Can see this isn't pushing you at all. Okay. Um I'm gonna write it in that. Okay, you're gonna be one of the Pokemon in my list here. Uh uh K Monster Hunter. There we go. Okay. Alright, there we go. I think I think those were Pokemon that I wanted to get shinies of or something. I wanted Luxray so bad. Like the thing is Luxray is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. But I, Luxray, like, just doesn't feel good in battle. Maybe I'm just using them wrong, or maybe their stats are just naturally garbage, but, like, I I, I can't use them in anything. <laughs> maybe I, like, I, I never, like, fully, like, EV train one or anything, but even then... Kmon, it's you. You're a Pokemon. I don't think Klunger is a Pokemon. Wait, what? Did I say Klunger? Clauncher. Clauncher. What, what a CH, lads. He's like a fight crab, or he's like a pi he's a pistol shrimp. That that's what it is. Love Luxray too. His design is so good. It's honestly such a banger, and like his whole evolution is just amazing because he goes from like, you know, a little small baby to like absolute badass. Which like, I mean, a lot of them do, but like, man, it's so good. I think Pokemon Challenges says they're not good battle wise. Mm, okay, okay. You said Clauncher. Okay, so I got it right. Yeah, his name is Clauncher. Yeah, yeah. He's clonching. He's about to clonch. He's about to clonch. Clunger like plunger. Nah, you're- it's fine. Honestly, that's very apt as well. 
I, I, I would, I would, I like, I hope, I wish his name was Clunger. That's a good name. There's Cicada by my door. Is that you? No, I'm too introverted. No, I'm kidding. It's me. Let me in. I'm hungry. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. By the way, chat, I will be checking my PO box this week. So if you did send me things, um, they'll probably reach by now. But if not, then next month, uh, it'll, it'll be there by then. But yeah, I'll be checking. So by like next week or the week after, we'll be doing a PO box stream again. Every So if you guys don't know, every month I do plan on doing a single P.O. Box stream to just like show off everything that you all have sent me on webcam and you can get my, my full blind reaction. Um, if you are interested, you can always type exclamation mark P.O. Box in the chat or you can just find it in the Discord. If you just go to announcements, you can check pinned for like a better formatted version of the address. Uh, it's up to you. Once again, that's, you know, that's just something out of, you know, your own choice. You can feel free. And if you don't want it, that's totally fine too. Honestly, sending me things is dangerous because I end up enjoying it. And like, like who likes to have fun anymore on the internet? So if you want to do the risky thing and allow me to like have fun, which is just so cringe, um, feel free to send, you know, feel free to send something. <laughs> Time to send shady gamer girl thigh drinks. God, you know, it's funny though. If you do it, I mean, I'll, I like, I have to drink it on stream and they probably taste okay. But still, why is the flavor called anime girl thigh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? That's real, by the way. They do have a flavor called Anime Girl Thigh. Bro, sounds down. I never said. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I have to commit to the bit. You know? Unless it tastes like ass. You know why, Shady? I guess I do. All right, time to send Shady soup. All right, nope. You send me. You send me soup, and it's all over, K. It's all over. Not only will I not play Monster Hunter, I will. I will. Steal your wallet. <laughs> I wish I had a better bit than that, but I will I will steal your wallet. Flork named it? It's a Flork drink? They partnered with Flork? That's amazing. What? What? <laughs> I didn't know that. I did not know that. I just knew about I just knew about the name itself. I did not know that was a Flork thing. That that makes it so much better in my eyes. That actually make, makes me want to try it now. Flork is goddamn funny as hell. What's Flork? So Flork of Crows, it's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a Twitter account. They're, they're an artist and they do really funny, like, um, like comics and skits and stuff. Um, some of them make like no goddamn sense and they're still amazing somehow. Flork sounds like a name you'd make. Their skits sound like something I'd make up, chat. Like, it, so, so absolutely. Taking that one as a compliment. Flork is funny as hell. Seriously, just go type like Flork of Crows. You might have recognized their art from somewhere. Because people like love to use um, their stuff. Them. Yeah, see? Yeah, exactly. Oh, aggressive Cornelius! Oh, what a name! Oh, God, we're doing this. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry. I didn't mean to react like that, but holy shit, his name. All right, chat. Are you guys ready? <laughs> aggressive Cornelius. We were joking about these names, and we finally got one as ridiculous as our jokes. But anyways, the song has to go away, chat. Because we just defied the future. Wow, man, even with speed, that's still gonna hurt him. What? How's he have that much speed? Oh, we didn't upgrade enough. We have to upgrade our art better. Okay, let's wake him up and do a chain attack. Ah, oh, crap. Crepe. Blue balls, <laughs> as always. Um, let's inflict some bleed. Yeah. Oh, you don't have a you don't have a red kill shot, do you? That sucks. All right, let's inflict some break. God damn it, that's it, huh? You could say he's corny, Cornel corny Cornelius, yeah. God, they called you aggressive Cornelius in high school. And how did that how did that work for you, Caitlin? How did that how did that do for you in high school? Because if I knew you was that, I would think you were kind of cool. Not gonna lie, anyone who embraces the name aggressive Cornelius must be cool. In my eyes. Not so well? Oh no. Don't worry. I would I would have had your back, Caitlin. I would have had your back. Okay, we're actually we're actually doing really good. I don't want to jinx it. I'm about I'm about to jinx it. Let me shadow eye get him off of me. Okay. Should you would like would you like to be sent some Mexican snacks? Yeah, okay, so um Bop Top, if you like let me know in DMs or something. Um, I mean, you can just let me know now, and that's, yeah, snacks are totally fine. 
So the rule is, if you're gonna send like, if you want, if you're gonna send like perishables, um, those are one of the things where you, you might want to ask me for permission first. But since you ask, yeah, I wouldn't mind at all. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Oh god, oh god. No wait, no, 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 no. I got the aggro on me. Oh my god. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What if I send a rat? I. <laughs> I'll turn you into a rat. Uh-oh. Okay, that's a full-on death. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can fix this. Um, 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 um. Okay. Give him a heal as well. Okay, we can handle this. We can do this. If we do this on the first try, it means our grinding has been paying off. Uh-oh. Wait, we can still kill him. We can still finish this now. Oh, thank God. Dude, that's like... It's been a while since we've done a special enemy on the first try. That was awesome. Good for us. Also, hi, Noma. How you doing? Welcome in. Uh, Noma. Uh, 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 Noma. Um, are you down at some point soon to get down to some more balding? Because <laughs> I'm in the mood for more balding. Chat's going to be like, what? What do you, what? What do you, what? What, 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 what do you mean? Don't say balding, but okay. But like, actually though, are you down? Are you down for some more balding soon? I mean, you're, you're so used to being bald, so. Um, I don't think I got anything, like, worthy of, uh, wearing here. That's a shame. Like, Dunban is literally too strong for this, uh, Zeri, huh? She is not bald. Her name's Baldma, though. Baldma's Gate. Weed Baldma. <laughs> Weed Baldma. It's a real name. It's a real name. If you mean Baldur's Gate, sure, but I don't have a receding hairline. Alright, cool. Good. <laughs> good. She is not bald pinned. Good. Good. Very good. <laughs> well, welcome in nonetheless. That's so funny. Overdoing well. Um, let us get some speed up here. Some shield up. Let's bust up a little bit. And um, upgrade our shaker edge. We need to... Uh, so if you guys notice when we upgrade our arts to make them stronger, there's a limit. You'll see like the black bars now. We can't fill those in. We actually have to buy like a study book to uh make the characters have like raise the limit so uh we're gonna have to like do that eventually <laughs> someone remind me and call me a goober at some point like today during this stream like in, in like in like an hour someone's to be like hey shady you said you'd upgrade their moves you goober um i would i would love you platonically the horse the whole circle emote is banned too Noma, Noma banned like so much shit, like especially in her in her uh, stream, she banned the name. What is it like Rick or Paul? I think it was Paul. The name Paul is banned in her chat. <laughs> like there's a reason, but still, it's so funny. I can make Lazel worse. Oh, um, uh, never. Um, uh, Noma killed Lazel in our run. Noma straight up murdered Lazel. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I have a crush on Shadowheart. Very, very big crush on Shadowheart. Sorry to say, everyone. I'm not sorry to say. Every time during that campaign with me, Noma, like, anytime I, like, got along with her a bit, I was like, she approves. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. Okay, there we go. That's another thing. Might as well kill these guys while we're at it. Also, the name Igna and Ignas in this game is actually a reference to Xenogears. It's a, like it's like a it's like a, a place in Xenogears. Um, that that's appalling. And you know what the funny part is too? No, but didn't you kill Paul? Okay, this sounds weird out of context. Paul was a chicken. Okay, wait, that still sounds bad. Uh, not a real chicken. Um. Uh, Noma played that fun game where you have to, like, guess the password. And there's one part where you have to, like, feed a chicken named Paul, like, every three minutes or something. And Paul died of starvation. <laughs> Noma didn't actually kill, like, a chicken named Paul, I swear. She's too nice for that. <laughs> Alright. IQ too small for level 5 arts. Yeah. Honestly, though... A lot, like, these characters have their very smart moments, but I swear they do have their brain-empty moments, too. So they absolutely would just be like, hmm? Hmm? Although, now that I think about it, 
Okay, chat. Who's the most brain empty party in the Xenoblade series? And why is it Xenoblade 2? I'm kidding, but like... It's probably Xenoblade 2. Like, I... <laughs> I feel like... I feel like that, like, it, it's the most endearing party, but they're, like, endearingly cringe in a good way. Like, I love that they're cringe. Like, Zeke is, like, quote-unquote cringe. Like, he's not actually cringe. Like, I love him, but you know what I mean. Like, I feel like in that world, they're se they could be seen like that. Xenoblade 7 Remake? God, if only. If only. There's a rumored direct happening this month, Noma. And, uh, I know it's not gonna happen, but, like, I'm... I am trying so hard to manifest a Xenoblade X uh, port. I'll be so happy. So I can once again go, there's something about this planet. Or, we're stuck on a whole different planet. No zibi dibi da ba da ba ba zibi da. You know, that song? It's gonna be good. And, and, and the best rap lyric of all time. I need a bigger gun. Is anyone out there? Is this thing on? Not to sound cliche, but this planet sucks. You know, remember those lyrics? <laughs> Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 We gotta play through Xenoblades 4 to 9 first. I still love the theory that Xenoblade X, like, truly is the 10th entry. And that Takahashi's just playing the long con. I, like, I... Here's the thing, like, if that's, like, unlikely in my eyes, but it's also, like, the most likely... Like, I could see him doing that, is what I should say. This is a man who thinks six games ahead. And I'm not even lying. When he released, like, Xenogears, he had six episodes in mind. Xenogears was episode five. So, yeah, he tried again with Xenosaga. Um, Xenoblades, I think, finally, the, like, when he actually got to tell his full story, for the most part, at least. And no worries, get your comms done, Kay. Best of luck. And, uh, you know, do as amazing as you always will. Um, he had the story of, yeah... I, I, and like he had the um, he had the title screen of three in his head when he started development on two, so he was already like, "Yep, I think I know how this is gonna go." Absolutely goaded, <laughs> absolutely goaded. Xenoblade X was your first Xeno game. That is a hilarious start to the series, but not not a bad start. Like that game's amazing. But yeah, that's like the most different Xenoblade possible, my lord. But it, it like it's so good. Do you think he'll keep naming the series Xenoblade or will he change it again? I feel like because Xenoblade does so well as a, like, Nintendo franchise now, that keeping it would be good for marketing. But if he doesn't care about that, and if Nintendo doesn't care enough about that, I feel like he'll at least keep the Xeno prefix and make it Xeno something else. Um, but in my eyes, it could just be Xenoblade, new subtitle. Um, but, I mean, I would love they change it up to Xeno something else, but yeah. The man has a vision he's determined to make it a reality. Damn. He was Shulk this whole time. <laughs> Takahashi has the Monado. Xeno Walkers is gonna be sick. Ooh, he's yellow. That means he's pretty high. And he's a high special. Reckless Godwin. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were playing Elden Ring. Yeah, I'm not doing that yet. That's way too many enemies. Plus a super special, like a, like a high level unique. He'll kill my ass just on his own. Um, we'll come back to that. At least we killed... Oh, wait. Did you see who we killed, uh, Noma? What, what their name was? Oh, God. Chat, what was their name again? I already forgot. Oh, it was Aggressive... Oh, Aggressive Cornelius. <laughs> His name was Aggressive Cornelius, and he was a lizard with a sword. You gotta make him God lose? Oh, that's true. That's true. Reckless Godwin sounds like the name of an RAD pilot. It does. Also, like, why is Invincible Rummy just so not invincible? What a guy. What a guy. Dude was Jesse Pinkman in a mech. <laughs> I'm kidding, but like, am I? I mean, I, like, I, they have one thing in similar, I guess, and it was drugs, but like, you know. Oh my god, Aggressive Cornelius sounds like an agitated British grandpa whose tea is cold. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There we go. Good arts, good arts. I'm actually killing Vincent Rummies in seven seconds. Oh my god. God, Rummy is just cannon fodder now, huh? Christ. God, I ugh, I want to play more of that game so bad. I want to play more of it. Chat, do you guys want to do my commissions for me? I, I'll, I'll leave the stream on. I'll, I'll, I'll do like the same way like Twitch plays like Pokemon. I'll find a way to program Twitch composes a song. And you guys can work with Cubase. 
and you can make my commission so I can go play Armored Core. <laughs> Honestly, though, if I could set something like that up, that might be kind of funny. Yo, Rhine time? It's always Rhine time. Also, except he's not in my party, Ema. <laughs> I took him out, but I made him shirtless because everyone wants him shirtless. How you doing, Ema? Welcome in, everyone. I hope you're doing very, very well. Shout out to Ema Moore Cross. He is a big homie of mine. Um, he's also super talented. You should absolutely check out his streams because this man puts his whole p***y into it. He puts his whole p***y into it. And, um, like, just, like, the, all the animations he has. His art style is fantastic. He has some one of the most chill voices you'll ever hear. And he's a fictional character because he's Australian. Um, you can't say that. Too late. I already said it. Um, <laughs> for real, though. Uh, absolutely go check out Ima. He's a fantastic human and super cool. And I believe this is his birthday week. So he deserves uh, all the goddamn support and views. Go check him out. And oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Why don't I hear boss music? Where? Sunlight fake? Oh, God. What's that? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, wait. Stop. Stop. But yeah, welcome in everyone. I'm Shitty Takeda. I stream all kinds of things. I, I love me my Nintendo, but I stream any game that's fun. Uh, my favorite series ever are Zelda and, what do you know, Xenoblade. And I happen to be doing that. I happen to have these, this little series called Xenoblade Weekends where I do extra chill streams. Where I am more calm than usual. Even though I don't sound calm right now. And um, we just we just play through a really, really good story. I plan on doing the entire trilogy like this. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah. Ima, what were, you, uh, what were you up to? FF14 or what up? We are indeed celebrating the birthday. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, with the catch it. These here, I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up and I'll hope the song doesn't get interrupted. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna wait for the chorus. Just so it doesn't get, you know, interrupted. Here I go. Here we go. Uh, uh, mm. But only if we do some cicada grooving. Mm, let's go! Oh, it's so good! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, it's so good! It's so good! If and anyone doesn't know, this is my favorite video game song of all time, and this is what got me to start writing my anime style music. That's what this song's from? Yeah, it's iconic, man. It's iconic. But yeah, all like the anime battle songs you guys like that I've written like are mostly inspired by this. And this break here? This break? Hang on, hold on, hold on. With the horns too? Hang on. Mm. Oh, by the way, those horns were only added to the definitive version. It used to not have that. And what a what a welcome addition. We need to get we need to get Charlotte a red move so we can stack this chain better. Because this is not gonna go well. Horns are a gift to humanity. I'm saying it's so funny because it's so easy to mess up a brass section, but when you when you get it down, it's like oh, it was worth it. Kind of like the song me and Ima wrote. Bug and Cross. If you guys don't know, I, um, for both the chats here, <laughs> me, Ima and I wrote a song together, and it's really good, but it's also really funny as well. Because I'm pretty sure the concept we came up with it was it, it it was us having a race and then crashing, like having the most lethal crash of all time. And the song ends in a car crash. Ah, crap. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. It's fine. It's fine. Let me just get him not depressed. Really excited to play Bomber Cyberpunk. Yeah, I saw you freaking out. It has a, it, about a, um, like a multiplayer mod? That's crazy. They're so fast on that. I'm guessing you're going to try that with some, with some buds and stuff, yeah? I've been on, um, I've been on, uh, I've been on Armored Core recently. That game is so much more fun than I thought it would be. Because, like, mech games usually aren't my thing, but man, that game is a game of the year contender. I, I already I already made a mech called Monado. It's like got the colors and I made like um I made like Pyrus Aegis core. Oh god. Oh he's angry now. <laughs> he's angry. It's okay, it's okay. As long as why is Charlotte getting aggroed? Dunban, take the aggro please. Whoa, Dunban! <laughs> Can you make the Kirby mech? Like the Robobot? I, you know what? I probably could. I probably could. I don't know if I, I could probably find like a really round torso and put that together. But you can definitely make a decal, a decal for the eyes. Yeah, I called it Monado. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. 
Let me just prevent the future. Also, the song is about to leave. Sorry, chat. Here we go. Future change. And a full miss, too. Yeah, eat it. Eat it, you little bastard. We can do this. We can do this. I can't believe we came back from this shit, but we can do this. And that's why I love this game. You can come back from, like, the biggest failure of all time and turn it into the most clutch win possible. And I know people seeing this game probably, like, people who, like, weren't here for the past streams don't know what's going on with the combat here. Um, it's a lot, it's probably, like, a lot to take in now. But it does ease you into it. If the UI ever looks, like, intimidating for these games, it eases you into it. Okay, now for this we want to use shield. Done. Now we can't hurt anyone. Okay. And we can chain attack his ass. Let's go, let's finish it. Just saying Ryan would take aggro properly. <laughs> yeah, Mel? Mel wants Ryan back so bad. And it's, you know what? I fully understand. Because Ryan, Ryan is honestly goaded. I wish Ryan had agility. Alright. Just like old times. Let's do it. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Just give me a minute. Going full focus mode. Ah, he's dead. There's no way. Get out of here, Shvake. Shvake. Ooh, Purity Striker. Pandemonium. Empress Arms. They call me Johnny Empress Arms. Nobody calls me that. Oh, there's Ryan. Rogal Axe Crest. Okay. All right. Um, the guitar goes hard. Yeah, the solo in that's wild. Yeah, we got some new Dunban swords. Maybe you can actually use them. Let's see. Because there's no mech on around here, so we don't have to keep them with the mech on sword. So, auto attack max goes down, but the minimum goes up. I mean, that kind of sounds like a win. Ooh. Oh, hold up. Whoa. What the hell is this? It's clipping in his goddamn leg. It's that big. The Black Steel Striker. That. That is a, that is a, that is a good upgrade. All right. We're throwing that on. Christ almighty. Okay. All right. Still doesn't need any kind of gear from here, though. Now, that is a swarg. That is a big-ass swarg. My lord. All right. Gadolt's rifle. Um, well, uh, goodbye, Gadolt's rifle. Yeah, your, your deceased husband or your missing husband's rifle. It, it's it's fine, though, Sharla. Well, you know, it, 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 it's different from memorabilia. You don't have to use it. It's fine. I love when they do that in games. What is that outfit? Yeah, she has negative drip right now, unfortunately. We're going to have to fix that soon. <laughs> I just, I bought her these clothes, and as soon as I put them on, I, like, I felt bad. I felt really bad for her. Okay. I think we're all good for gear now, so we can move on. But yeah, um, Ima, if you're still here, uh, word around the grapevine from legitimate leakers. Uh, like, who have gotten stuff right in the past are saying that, uh, you know, a direct may happen actually this month on the 13th. Um. So we might get some... And apparently... And like... This is the last time I'll say this because I said this like three times already during the stream. But they got everything right so far. Like, for the last direct, they guessed everything right. And they're straight up saying, like, this one's going to be kind of wild. Which, not to get anyone's hopes up, but you never know. This is point. This is lean. This is lean. We, we need to leave the lean pool. It hurts. How wild? How wild? Um, they said some crazy. They said some dumb shit like, "You're get, <laughs> Nintendo fans are going to need tranquilizers." <laughs> Those are the exact words they said. Um, and this is the one like I was talking about with chat. It doesn't imply new characters or anything, but like we've seen like straight up physical proof of this. Once again, take it with a grain of salt. But they've gotten shit right in the past. But supposedly there's something Smash related coming. Not necessarily characters, but something coming to the game that's bigger than a patch. And like, Amiibos are being reprinted right now. The consoles on the back of the Amiibo boxes are being scrubbed. It's no, it's no longer apparently saying that it's for 3DS and Switch. And apparently this is like real, like this is something you could find yourself and it'll say. Um, con GameCube controllers are being manufactured again in Japan. Um, the goddamn Noah and Mio Amiibos we've seen nothing of. Which could just mean they're slow with it, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there, there's like all of that and then other stuff. So uh, who knows? What if it is a new Smash character? I'd be pretty pumped. I mean, if, if we get like a Fighter Pass 3, then like, why not? Um, they, they did leave... I'm pretty sure they did have like a hint of something where it was like... Uh, it was like... Because uh, someone was like, why do Smash? Like that game is like so like old now and then i think one of them was straight up like yeah mario kart was old too and i was like okay well hang on mario kart had like an expansion that was as big as the game itself like we're so, i don't know we'll see and melanie welcome back and hope you're doing well and yes it's seth whole marsh time we're doing the uh 
We're doing we're doing a little trial to move ahead. And I've been killing it tonight. I've been killing so many unique enemies in the first try. I've been feeling pretty good about it. How goes the backslash backslash chronicles? <laughs> it goes good, Salem. Welcome back in. Thank you for the hundred bits. I very much appreciate it, and I hope you're doing very well tonight as well. Welcome to the Poison Lake of Lean. We found the Lean Pool, essentially, and Dunban is standing in it, and he's going to die. Good. G give me some space, she says. We're on a small island, girl. You, you got this. It's fine. You can deal. <clears throat> there we go. I can't even think of anyone I would really want in Smash at this point. Like, everyone I've wanted is pretty much in there. I guess I would want more Xenoblade reps. Like, Noah, Mio... Even Ryan or like Dunban would make me happy. I know Dunban's part of like the uh, like the chain attacks, maybe not him, or like the the final smash. I've, I know I wanted Ryan for the longest time. Someone in our FF14 community has modeled and named their in-game in -game character after Dunban, a true Chad. Yo, that's actually so sick. That's so sick. Huge respect to them. I'd be freaking. I don't know if I told you, Ema, but like the first cosplay that I want to do is Dunban. And then Claude from Fire Emblem, but Dunban, absolutely. And Kippy, welcome back in. W w why run? K you did this in Noma's stream too? <laughs> Which actually made me giggle. I went into Noma's stream and Kippy was just like, it's shady, run. <laughs> why run? For I'm, I'm so innocent and I never lie and I'm so wholesome, you know? You know, I look at, I, 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 I like when I, when I'm on Twitter, and I see pictures of Pyro and stuff. I just appreciate the art like a wholesome person would, you know? <laughs> I just say stuff. It's fine. I just say stuff too. <laughs> it's good to have you. Yummy poison swamp. Yep. Very good yummy poison swamp. At least it isn't level 80 quad wings. So <laughs> we can make it through this. Side eyes you. Wait, what? Why? Go back to lurking. But, you know, also, you know, you know, um, you know, I mean, okay, legit though, one of the last reasons I'm even on Twitter, other than, you know, promoting myself, is for, you know, art. Because, <laughs> like, and I mean that, I do follow a lot of artists, okay, and a lot, of, you know, they're all very, very talented and cool, and you guys know how much I love visual arts, okay? It's just every once in a while, you know, <laughs> we'll draw like a pyro or something. So hang on, it's getting really hot in here, so I'm going to turn on my thing. <laughs> I, it's the temperature. There we go. I'm so innocent. Tells about 19 inches of venom. Okay, that one's not my fault, though. That was not my fault. That was the Spider-Man Twitter saying that. Okay. Keep digging yourself a deep... Yeah, okay. You know what? I'll just... You know what? All right. I, I, I feel like... I feel like when I do my speech now, whenever I welcome people into my stream, one part of it should be, I'm married to Pyra Xenoblade. Just so, just so it's made fully clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god can i get a lore recap what on on the game like from the start or from the last stream you know it's funny i was watching this one streamer i was like lurking her stream while i was doing some work of her playing xenoblade and she came up with this awesome idea it's kind of late for me to do it now maybe but every time she would stream this game she would update a powerpoint that she had so people could just like look at a PowerPoint slide um, as a command every time they came and they didn't know what was going on. And I was like, that's actually like a genius idea. Um, so I might, I might like try something like that. Maybe. But it could be a lot. What happened last stream? That's kind of great. It was super smart. It was super smart. I forgot her name, but she was really, really good. She was, um, oh, well, actually it's funny. She was like, she, she was a VTuber, but I think she's done like, Either art for Niji Sanji or something with Niji Sanji because I think all the Niji Sanji or like a lot of Niji Sanji VTubers follow her. Um, series lore PowerPoint. Oh god, are we bringing it back? Is it time for another lore stream chat? I guess I guess I did talk about how I, I was considering a Xenoblade one, huh? I definitely want to talk some Xenoblade theories. You know, when we're done with the, the DLC of three, which is going to be a while from now, but yeah. Peace again, Niji Sanji. Who's your favorite Niji Sanji uh, VTuber, okay? Noma, Noma got me into some of them, so I kind of, like, lurk their streams every once in a while. Um, but yeah, okay, so last stream, we went to Colony 6 to figure out more stuff about the Mechon, where to find them to get a revenge. 
We found out we found Juju, a little lad who crashed his buggy. He took us to a refugee a refugee camp where all the people of Colony Six were because Colony Six has actually been taken over for a month. So like a month even before we were attacked, the Mechon were already there, they already took over. A lot of people died and got eaten. And Juju's older sister Sharla, who's this girl, um was like, Ayo, shit's bad. My husband stayed behind to help Colony Six and he is missing and so is our like colonel guy. So, uh, she goes to help you. You get a vision of Juju and Sharla dying. You end up saving them. You go into some mines, um, because Juju gets taken by a giant face mech on. Kind of like the face mech on that, you know, you know, did the bad stuff, but it's like, a, it's a different face mech on. You go through the mines to get to him. You get to him. You fight him. He drops some stuff where he's like, um, he says that, like, he talks about how, like, he, you didn't beat him with, like, the Monado's true power. And Shulk's like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? And he's like, sorry, that's the truth you're gonna have to figure out. Like, you're gonna have to find out for yourself. Um, so then he dies. Then we finally face Metal Face, which is the name of the, the mechon that killed Fiora. And uh, we fight him, and then Dunban comes in to help us. He makes like a surprise appearance, like him and Dixon. And then um, during all of this, Shulk actually gets a vision of him being able to hurt Metal Face with the Monado, which is impossible now. But he says like, oh, we're at the top of like a tower or something. And I see a giant horn, so it's like, they're basically like, Dixon tells him that he, like, he's like, oh, that's an area that's at the top of the Bionis. There's a place called Prison Island that you have to get to. Like, that's probably what you saw in your vision. So we're trying to get there now. And right now we're on the Bionis' back and we're climbing to its head. That's pretty much a fair enough uh, description, right, chat? Now I was pretending, to, I, I'm pretending I know about the series. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. One day, yeah, I think, you know what? Before the final stream of this game, I will give you guys the biggest rundown. So that way, I can at least catch a lot of people up before we hit the finale. At the very least, I can give you guys that. Um, That's so pretty. This is one of the prettiest areas, like, in the series, Mel. And the music. This is one... So it's... It, it's it, this, this map only looks like this at night, but this is also when the strongest enemies come out. They're, like, level 80. Um, but yes, this is, everyone calls this the Swamp Ass area because it's, it's literally a swamp and it's by the Bionis' ass. So it's, it's, it's Swamp Ass. The lore runs so deep thanks to the radio. Yeah, you know what's funny? I, I didn't, I initially didn't know what that meant because I never played Xenosaga or Xenogears. I know it's just like more of a saga thing, but I didn't know until I looked it up after. But even, even then, there was like one or two references I understood because it related to a certain other x game okay, let's get going. um but either way when it when we get to that point we're definitely going to talk about it on stream because uh well they they set up a lot of stuff i'm very curious to see where they're gonna go why would you say this mel why would you say this nods knowing everything about the series <laughs> i love if there's one thing so i love people seeing this game blind it's my favorite part like i love seeing you guys make up theories and stuff of, of what you think is going to happen because like I said, it's my favorite story in anything ever, and like, it, it goes hard with the twists and everything. But um, it's also fun having people who do know, because it's fun to make a small reference where only the people who know the story will get it without spoiling it. Like, I could bring up a funny thing, or like, maybe a character will say a line that's foreshadowing, and I'll make a small, like, snicker noise. I'll be like, and then some people in chat will be like, yeah, Shady. <laughs> I remember, I remember the scene when Shulk and Ryan were initially sitting at lookout point where or outlook point or whatever where where you know they were, they were lamenting Fiora and then they were like I want revenge there's a few lines they dropped there where me and chat were like oh huh you know it's funny hearing that after you beat the game but I'm not gonna say exactly what they talked about or anything again I don't want to recap that but Amber Fisher Amber Fisher just sounds like a Amber Fisher sounds like the name of like I don't know, like like a teen romance character in like a book. But they're not like written good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright. By the way, I already have one of the Ursula items 99 times. Yo, let's go. Only 7 million more hours to go, Melanie. You got this. <laughs> I'm kidding though, that's pretty good progress. Aw oh, crap, Amber's looking. Oh Amber's coming! Quickly! Quickly kill it! Kill this thing! Okay. Let's do this. I'm going straight for the chain. It's just the lass's name. It's just straight up Amber Fisher. Okay, hang on, it's too cold again. Should I blossom? I won't blossom, Dance. Let's do a Gale Slash again. Make it bleed. Also, I'm turning it up. 
Also, okay, I totally asked you that question, I forgot. Oh, wait, hang on. So, in English, you like Shu and Ike. For Japan, you like Akane and Kuzuha. I can't pronounce names right, but... Okay, interesting. You know, I actually... I actually don't watch any of them. But I will. Maybe. I, I, I usually see them in collabs, and they're a lot of fun. At least like Ike. Um, my favorite is, um, Pomu, Rosami, and, uh, and, uh, Ilira. <laughs> so, I love Selene's laugh. Kick rush. Oh, God, please. Oh, God, not again. Not again. Well, time to interrupt the music, everyone. But before the chorus hits. Or, sorry, after the chorus hits. So, we're good. All right, there we go. Is this early on in the game since there's only three party members? So, three is the max you can have in a party. Um, we actually have four technically right now. But yeah, this is still like Act 1, technically. But once we get past like this area, things speed up a little more, if I, I think. But yeah, also, god damn it, the Nebula's here. Oh, that's gonna be a wrench in our gears a little bit. Oh, he's dazed too? Ah, oh, shit. No, wait, no, Dunban. Oh, Dunban. That's different, yeah. I actually, you know, it's funny. I still prefer this format over the other formats in the in 2 and 3. I feel like this was just the easiest one to keep track of. I didn't mean to put help for him, I just meant to get him out of days. Oh boy. I actually kind of like when it's just the three characters, but... The other games do it really well. I didn't mean to do this! Oh no, oh PP. Alright, well how can we draw aggro? Okay. Let's do that. Alright. Fine, fine, we'll do it like this. Here we go. This area, yeah, this area isn't super important, but it has good world building. Exactly. Um, the next area is one of my favorites because, and we're gonna we're gonna be doing that area tonight. But it has one of my favorite characters ever, and you guys are gonna love them too. And when we do see them, to those who know that character's lore, don't 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 drop any of it just yet. I, I, chat needs to be surprised. Venom shot. Okay, so the thing about the purple things is that we can't negate those, but we can at least warn about those and maybe get us to get healed instead in fact just heal yourself let's see you have a super heal yeah shoot your oh god that wouldn't have sounded good my bad <laughs> literally what she does but oh my god shady please okay put them in the daze maybe ah not in time persona persona okay some of this done Three unique enemies in one stream chat. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're good now. We're, we're, pre we're pretty much in the clear. Um, we're finally getting Luigi in the party. No, unfortunately, Luigi dies as well. Luigi dies as well. Okay, yeah, okay. I see you guys still talk on Niji. Mista, Mista's great. I mean, well, he was great, unfortunately. Um... Sad to say, but yeah, no, nah, he, he was like an ADHD, like, express. And uh, I very much enjoyed that. Yeah, Luigi dies, I'm sorry. What what the F, Shady, don't tell them that. Oh, right. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spoil. But, I mean, Luigi does die, chat. Top of the school. Okay. Okay, I, someone, okay, you know what? Uh, I'll remember. I gotta give Shady, Shady? Shady? I have to give Sharla a better move. What do you, Shady? That's me, Shady. What? I'm losing my goddamn mind. What? When did I become a hot sniper girl? <laughs> Bruh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> listen, listen, I didn't get a lot of sleep. All right, that is my one and only excuse. Where are you going? Where, where is he going? You know, it's not worth it. I'm not, I'm not chasing him. I'm not chasing him. That's not worth it. Screw that. Oh, my damn treasure. His people need him? I guess so. Damn. Journey Diadem. 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 Which move are you getting, Shady? Um. So, Sharla has one. I'm pretty sure it's like a red move. Doesn't it, like, have a chance of inflicting, like, insta-kill if an enemy is dazed? She has something like that. I don't have it yet. I don't have it yet. I know it's like a red move, and it would be nice for stacking. Yeah, it's headshot. That's it. I want to like stack her. Um, I want to. I want to. I want to be able to stack reds in a chain attack. So, giving her that would be pretty pog. Ooh, we should probably bring an enchant up a little bit as well. Okay. I don't think I need to upgrade too much right now. But I'll just do it right here. 
How could you spoil me like this? Everyone dies. Life is fleeting and inevitable. Yo, that's what... Why would you spoil life like this, huh? Crazy. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> it's a shame because Luigi can topple lock by himself. He has three topple arts and a multi-hit break art. He's busted, so I suppose they have to take him away from us. You know, DJ sent me a fun clip today of... It was like a kung fu movie or something, and this one girl did like a Luigi side B. But then someone else caught her midair and then folded her like paper and put her in a jar. And then they dropped the jar and shattered it. And that was the whole scene. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's... It's... I, I have no idea where it comes from, but it was beautiful. I don't know how the hell he found it. Oof. I need that right now. Hang on. You know what? Maybe I could show it to you guys. Hold on. Um... The acting was great, because that that lady screamed. She did not like being folded like that. Hang on, let me... Yeah, here it is. Hang on one second. Let me just capture it for you, so you don't just hear screaming. All right. Let me see. Um. Yeah, Twitter. I mean, sorry, is Zitter? Here you go. Like, what? What? <laughs> so anyways, he just sent me that. He just, he just, he just kind of did it. He was like, since I'm sending out memes, here you go. Yeah, that's a kid. I mean, whatever, they got folded nonetheless. The other vase broke? Oh, okay, okay. It would have been a sick finisher to just break the vase. Cause like in video games, I love doing shit like that where like you can petrify or freeze the enemy and then you can just go for like an immediate shatter. You know the context of this movie? What, what's the movie called? Cause if the whole movie's like that, I kind of want to see it. <laughs> oh wait, I can just quick travel now. We, we, we did it, chat. We did it, boys. Trial is over. Sick clip though, huh? Yes, I, I got- oh wait, I got it to inflict insta-death once in all my playthroughs. Only once. I actually got it. I, I remember I got it to inflict like so many times in one of my playthroughs. I was surprised. I actually took out a unique enemy with it. I have a clip of it somewhere. Ice Rod plus Deku Leaf plus Cliff. I'm saying that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Also, Ima, did I tell you that I stole the sign in a car and I drove it to other Addisons only to find out it despawned all Addisons and signs on the map? I made a car that could carry it. <laughs> And I also put five Koroks on the car as well. Like, a, it was a Korok cross. Interesting. Yeah, it despawns all of them. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Yo. Banger, though? Banger song? Let's do it. Let's do it. The Korok buzz, yeah. Sign car, sign car was goaded. There's no topping that one. All right. We can do it. We can do it. Inflict some slow. I don't think I did. At least inflict some break. That wasn't in front. I'm an idiot. Okay. My bad. They all died. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of rocketed them all off into a lake, and they flew over a mountain and crashed off like in the distance. <laughs> wasn't good. I know, Charla. That was one hot rifle. There you go. Good, 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 good. Um, I we can just keep this up. Honestly, this run's going really well in terms of, like, skill-based, like, EXP. I'm playing this way better than I did the last time we did a playthrough, years ago. <laughs> years ago, I say. It wasn't that long ago, but still. This is the chill run where I can actually focus and be good at the game. So here we go, here we go. God, this song slaps, dude. Immune? Oh, he's immune to break. Shit. Years ago, in January 2023. <laughs> God, this year feels long in a good way. I think it's because of all the enjoyable games. Like, I forgot Fire Emblem Engage was this year. Hilariously, that's also a game of the year contender for me. I, I enjoyed it that much. I did not expect to, because that game was a hot meme and still is amongst people who haven't played it. But I'm telling you now, that game is actually amazing. It was so worth it. Ah, shit. Oh, wait, we can, we can dodge that, or we can... Yeah. Ultra Poison Stab? I got this. Three? 
So good they had to make a threequel. Anyways, goodbye, cool song. Alright. My parents heard this song and they compared it to Jesus Christ Superstar. That's wild. I don't even... You know what? I don't know why, but I still want to agree with them. Alright, screw Let's chain them out. You haven't played it yet because of AC6? That's fair. AC is honestly addicting as hell. I almost didn't stream again just to play more of it. But I was like, nah, I kind of feel like Xenoblade as well. But man, that game slaps. Alright. Like, I didn't think I would be interested in, like, PvP that much. But now upon, like, doing some builds, I'm like, you know? <laughs> P PvP might be alright. I can see this isn't push. Are you going to be on New Game Plus? Oh, nice. I'm still going through the main campaign. Uh, the first run. Sorry, I didn't mean to actually... I rested my hand down. Sorry. I just wanted to play with the buttons a little bit, but not that button. Sometimes I, I push the mute button, so it, I, I sound like this. Uh, 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 you know? Well, we did it, everyone. Welcome to get game. Oh, right. There is some lore coming up, uh, like, now, I'm pretty sure. Or, like, soon. Huh? The lift don't work. You'll see. Oh, boy. Looks like it's been broken for a while. We'll have to find another way up. Another way? You don't mean climb up there. I mean, that's when you break through. We may have to. Come on. You can't be serious. Why'd someone build a lift that don't work? <laughs> no complaining. Let's start looking for a Ryan doesn't even think about up. it breaking. He's just like, why would they build a thing that doesn't work? This is why I love Ryan. This man, this man just has a way with words that just make me want to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's true though, Ryan. Why would they build a thing that doesn't work? I mean, you make, you do make a fair point, I guess. He's got the, he's a little confused, but he's got the spirit. He is right. Like, it is ridiculous. <laughs> In a case where that would be a thing. Yep. He's so right. Yeah, he's so right. Don't worry though, chat. Platformers, platformers are my best genre, so you can expect me to play this at the utmost amount of skill. I still love Fire Emblem Gage, even if the story's the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, it's just good, it's just good fun. It's like, like as, so, as people have said already, it's like Saturday morning cartoon vibe. But also there are points in the story where I was like, all right, this is pretty good. Like I was emotionally invested in some of the characters just because they were so well written in my eyes or just so fun. Or I'm like, if anything bad happens to any of these characters, I will, I will, I will be very sad. Um, and there's a part like halfway through the story that's pretty goddamn wild, like chapter 10 or 11 or one of them. That's like, oh shit. <laughs> is fall damage real in this game? It is. It is. It, it is very, very real and it hurts like hell. I think the only game, the only Xenoblade game where there's no fall damage is Xenoblade X. But that game is one of the best feeling open world games I've ever played. You could sprint at like Mach 5 and jump like 50 million meters. I take no fall damage and like dodge roll into like or sorry roll into it a, a fall it's so good did i just get something oh yo synchro holy shit welcome back in dude how you doing my fellow soon to be canadian it's good to see you buddy thank you for half a year worth of resubs dude it means a hell of a lot and i always appreciate having you here homie uh we were just talking about knees asses we were talking no we weren't talking about ass we were talking about fall damage very different. I don't know why. I, huh. Okay. Yeah. Welcome in. <laughs> Hope you're well. Look at that climb. Look at him go. No stamina meter in sight. Another half year till full Canadian. Oh, hell yeah. So that's that's how the shadiation affects you, huh? The poison shadiation from being here for so long. You become Canadian. All right, chat. You better, you better watch out. You little cute parsnips. Sorry, the name just came up. I had to use it. Cute parsnip, huh? What's this one? Sorry, chat, you little humming cabbages. All right, well, that was easy. Ryan. Ready to go, Shulk? Yeah. But just hold on a minute. Hmm? What is it, Shulk? It's about the Monado. I'd like to ask your permission to use it a little longer. Permission? Why ask me? The Monado was your sword. 
But He's so polite, but Chulk, you're like the only one who like can use goal. it. So <laughs> don't sweat it. You are far more skillful at wielding that thing than I ever was. There you go. Keep it. It's yours. Besides, I have a new sword. And it's sick. That old coot had the decency to forge this for me. I owe it to him to make the most of it. Dumban. You fought your way this far. That is proof enough that Manado has accepted you. Don't take my word for it. Believe in yourself, Short. He's a great Believe mentor. Believe in myself. Never lying down. Never giving up. That's our pride and strength as Homs. And we have to make sure those metal monsters know it. You're right. Time to move, people. This prison island Shulk saw in his vision isn't getting any closer. <laughs> I look over, I see, how you doing? Come here often? Howdy, Ryan. <laughs> oh, by the way, chat, a fun little thing that I totally didn't mention um, in the last streams, but... If you, so there are points in this game where you see flashbacks from what we did in the past. Um, in those flashbacks, it'll actually show what you were wearing at that time, which is really cool. It's another reason why I'm committing to like the fits that I have. So it'll be like fun memories later, but the game actually makes sure to like do that. And it's so cool. Anyways, here comes a pretty sweet moment. For more, uh, for more of you who want to do some theory crafting about the story and get some theories. Oh, welcome to this area. This is where things get interesting. What is this place? It's giving me the creeps. Hmm. At a guess, I'd say we're inside the Bionis. <sighs> inside the Bionis. Chuck? Oh, nothing. It's just that it feels like the Bionis isn't really dead. Hmm. Huh? Wait a minute, Shulk. Hmm? If the Bionis starts moving around, things won't look good for us. What do you mean the Bionis might not be dead? Let's just keep moving. To those who don't know, right. we, we live on a giant titan. And it's called the Bionis, and we're inside of it right now. And it's supposed to have been dead for like, you know, thousands of years at this point or so. And Shulk is just here thinking, hey, it might be alive. I don't know, though. Also, squish noises. I'm so sorry, but um, that is pretty, it's pretty scary. It's like if the Earth started goddamn moving, and, I mean, if that happened, we would be dead. Third lung, chat. How biological is this thing? Third lung. It's about to get more interesting. What's that, chat? <laughs> Do you see something beating over there? Hmm? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. By the way, when I first, like, saw this shit, I was, like, creeped out. I'm like, there's no shot. The hell do you mean? There's blood, like, there's, like, blood cells flowing over there? Hmm. It does, though? No, okay, I meant, like... <laughs> okay, okay, let, let me word, let me word the earth moving thing better. If the earth unfolded like a goddamn, like, Bakugan. Alright, we'd be in trouble. There you go. We got, like, stomach acids. Except this isn't stomach acid. We're in its third lung. Third, by the way, chat. Three. Yeah. I never expected to see anyone else in this place. What the hell are you doing in the Bionis? You want to go up to the top? Wait where water rushes up. It'll shoot you really, really high. Like the Bionicles, the round ones? Yeah, the, um... Oh, what were their names? They started with a B, didn't they? The bu... Oh, God. I have one. The bo... The Borax? The Borax? No. What were they called? It was something like that, right? Um, but yeah, no, if the lore of this game is very much like Bionicle hilariously too. But yeah, anyways, there, there's some there's some theory stuff for you right there. We saw something beating in the back. Shulk thinks this shit's alive. It's very interesting and eerie in here. And uh, well, that that's all for now. Because we're getting the hell out of here at the moment. Any minute now. Would not swim in the mucus lake? Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm good on this too. Looking like pneumonia in there. There you go, fall damage. <laughs> Mandatory fall damage. But it's okay because you heal naturally in this game as long as you're not in battle. There's no healing items or anything like that. It's just you either win the fight or you fail it. And if you win, you get your health back. You want a third lung, do you though? 
I need to be even stronger. Upper, upper trachea, chat. Getting interesting. It's getting interesting. So once again, that whole thing has nothing to do with the mecha on revenge story or anything. But it's still, it's still building into something. What's that? The trachea is the th is as a, a tube in the throat, Bob Top. Oh, there they are. Can I come next time to the lemon soda lake? I mean, if you, I don't, I, ooh, I mean, <laughs> I just didn't expect us to get this scene. That's all. That's all. Um, yeah, you can go. You can go take a swim. Might be a little mucusy, but you know, if you're down. Hey, chat. What's going on here? What is this all about? I'm not saying no one say anything about any of this scene if you if you do know what's going on. But to those who don't know, um, well, face first, nemesis. First of all, new new face mech on. Your frame is complete. Random humanoid all person here. All that remains is the soul transfer. Soul transfer. That damage. Does a weapon exist that can melt face armor? Hmm. Hmm. How? You were thinking things? Lady okay. Zanea, Master Egel wishes to see you. Names we don't know about yet. Understood. Tell him I will see him when this face is complete. So we have people making the face mech on. Acknowledged. At least it looks like that, or at least maintaining them. I have fulfilled my duty. You and only you can bring about a new age on Makonis. <laughs> no, the entire world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mistress, Lady Maynath. New name. Babe, wake up. Another new name just dropped. Lady Maynath. Okay. Well, if anyone wants to say theories, go ahead. Once again, people who know, don't tell them if they're right or wrong. But um, if you got any theories about what you just saw, feel free to... uh. Feel free to say what you think. Because uh, that's a lot. Also, here's one of my favorite areas. And the music here is fantastic. This is Bionicle X in real life. Yeah. <laughs> also, how you doing, Riggle? Good to see ya. Mayneth is what you called your Maridon. Oh, that's that's actually a sick name. What did I call mine? Sorry, sorry what is Zed? Yeah, yeah. Big, big smile, Emo. I, like, I have... <laughs> It's such a big smile seeing so people freak out about it because I'm like, oh, they don't know. And they just can't, like, or they do know. But still, even if they do know, they still don't know where things will go. Like, it's so, like, I think this is one of those games where it's just, it's so hard to guess how this full story will play out. Look at this area, though. Man. So anyways, we're up on the Bionis' back now, chat. We went all the way from its foot all the way to its upper back. Yo, Telethia? People with wing he heads? Lady Melia, withdraw to the Nopon village and let us handle I'm this not saying beast. anything yet. No, Idol. But I'm excited. Do you really expect me to leave you? Run away and save myself. I have a big smile. I'm not saying why. Once, Lady Melia. It is our honor and our duty to protect you with our lives. Do not fear for us. Flee. I will not. I cannot return to the capital with this monster still standing. Ah! Well, holy oh shit, God. they got eviscerated. I forgot that's how that ha what? Anyways, if you remember, the Telethias were actually hurting the Mechon. We, we saw one way back last Idol. stream. Hobart, Garin, Damil! Bestow the light of your life unto me! Oh, hey. Strong magic user? Sorry, Ether. Not Hogar, not Aizel. <sighs> Who turned up the heat? I've never seen such a dense Don't forest. complain, you don't have a shirt on. Me neither. How much further? This must be the back of the Bionis. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. 
Hey, do you guys know if the sky has water, chat? Did you notice that up there? You mean go on in this heat? The sky has water. I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. Gross. We'll have to search for the best route. Homie. <laughs> Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Rhyme's stench. <laughs> Charla? <laughs> Damn. I don't want to say, I, you know what? Nothing. I was just, I was going to say, I don't want to see chat saying anything on Hinge from that. We must be outside the tower. Oh? Welcome. True heir to the Monado. Hmm, what is this Father? all about? Father? Weak. Weak and pathetic. What or who are you? Ooh, the future vision. You will pay for what you've done. And the Monado that can cut off his arm? You will or know cut his arm? the pain and suffering you cause the Emperor and Fiora! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big hmm. We're getting more of that vision. A silver faced mechon. And who was that girl? These visions show me people and places I've Why never are you seen. <laughs> if only I, don't know. I could find out what they mean. I mean there was a character there that looked to familiar advantage. to like what we just saw just now. That's one of those things. Look over there. A rope bridge. It looks Hom's made. Girl, we just Not saw look a little familiar. Nopon. Nopon. Although a lot of yeah, them here. have settled in our colonies, the Nopon are originally native to Machna Forest. Here's the other favorite part, Chad. The, the, the Nopon head? live here. The babies. Uh, I can't say. But walking around in circles isn't going to achieve anything. This is Orb Baby our Town. Our best bet is to look for their village. And yes, I am not stopping till we get to the to the central Orb Baby Town. But yeah, look how look how far up we are now. Which, by the way, if you look over certain edges and you look down, you can actually see the other areas that we were at. You can see Colony 9 and stuff, where we started. I see Charlotte in this garb. What have you done? I'm sorry, I made her dripless. Don't worry, though. Don't worry, though. The clothes that they sell here is some of my favorite drip in, like, the entire game. I love any kind of, like, feral, jungly outfit stuff for, like, characters and games. Makes me want to wear some. Why is Ryan topless? <laughs> It's it's what some people in chat really want them to be topless. And thus I've left them as such. If only for now. I keep saying only for now, and then I leave the man like that for a while, but he is, he is very sweaty and, and, and hot right now, so... I, I guess I might as well keep it off for now. <laughs> and since we're doing the jungle wear, I, I'm like, it, I feel like the other party's about to join him. The jungle wears pretty sick. Well, you guys will see. Make them all topless. Chat wants the beach episode so bad. God, this song slaps though. Eventually, we hear a lot of it, but let me kill these lads first. You can see some of them if you look up as well. Yeah, you can see future areas and stuff. It's it's so cool. The world building in this game is just excellent. I think it's still my favorite, like, visual world building in any of the Xenoblade games. Next to, like, I guess, like, um, Xenoblade X as well. With two, could you see the other, um, Titans and stuff, or no? Like, sometimes you could. What's your fault? I don't even know, girl. But no, who really upside down the world if water's in the sky? Is that, is that your theory, that the, that the world could be upside down? But yeah, no, it's a good question. Why, why, why is there water up there, huh? <laughs> why, why is there water when we look up? I'll tell you now, it's not a big, it's not a big thing. It's not like a big super plot thing. It's just an interesting, it's a very interesting thing. That, like, it's basically a, um, Nintendo pulling their whole, uh, we don't care about water physics, so we're going to make them like floating and cubed and shit, but, but with a bit more to it. With a bit more to it. It's a Titan spit. Oh, sorry. It's just a Bionis spit chamber. I just want to say that now so no one gets too far with the theories on that one, because I remember when I first saw it too, I was like, yo, are we like, are we like sunken underwater or something like Hyrule style? It, it's not that. But, God, the shit that really does come through in this game is way wilder than that could ever be. But man, it's pretty, huh? If the Bionis' sweat, yeah? God, him and Ryan got shit in common. Look, babies! We're already, we're already on the right path. Oh god, please. The physics. The, the jumping physics. Okay. 
Whoa, I'm in the tree! How did I do that? I'm gonna save because I, I want to explore inside this tree now. What if we fall? Let me see. I'm in the tree! What? I... Okay. I broke it. I, why, why am I breaking games so much lately? Well, there's nothing to do clipped inside this tree. It looks like, but... Well, it's fun. I've become one with nature. The true way to do it. You're not one with nature unless your head's poking out of a tree like, Hello, it is me. I am the, I am the face of wisdom. I am the shulk of wisdom. The Monado's true power. Look at them trying so hard. Look, look at Dunban trying to save Shulk. It's like, Shulk, no worries. I'll get inside that tree in no time. Yeah, I'm, I am Woodwood. Holy shit. This is, but this is, this is actually the lore of how Woodwood split from the, split from the spite tree. Are you guys ready? Holy shit. <laughs> it launched me. Thank you all for coming. There you go. And Myth, welcome in Myth. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you as always. Yeah. Oh, just talk to him from your song. Go back in the damn tree. Shulk of the forest. What is your wisdom? Yeah. I have 19 visions of wisdom for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my 19 visions of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. How many quests do you have to offer, little man? Sweet Jesus. Okay. We're gonna have to sell some shit. So let's see what we can throw on first. And then, uh, th of course, this is the slower part. But it's the necessary part. We gotta see if we have... Oh, yeah. There's the oil. That's what I meant. The oil has high defense. But it's like you're wearing nothing at all. Um, unfortunately, it drops my physical by too much. So I don't want to use that. At least not on Shulk. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, never mind. What's your opinion on Carla Armored Core? Asking because... Yeah, I, I saw them like trying to like put together like... Mm, well, if this happened like over like half a century ago... Uh, they, they got a cool voice. I don't know much about them yet, other than that one boss they set me up for pissed me off. <laughs> it, the boss wasn't even hard. You know the one? The, the, the big, the big lava-y one? That boss wasn't even hard. It's just like, if you messed up, you got punished really bad for it. I was like, the hell? The hell? But I, I see why you're bringing that up, and I hate you never. <laughs> okay, I don't like ancient characters, okay? It's just a coincidence some of the characters I have a crush on are like 5 million years old, okay? All right, okay. God damn it. God damn it, you gonna make a man cry all up in here. Gonna make a man cry all up in here. Let's see. Oh, I don't wanna use these. Wait, hang on one second, actually. Uh, no, not worth it. Missed oil. Yep, good oil. Let's see. Um, what about... Mm. Oh, never mind. Someone's already wearing that. I mean, the missed oil... 23... Nah, we need physical defense on her. Hmm... Eyes emoji, I mean what? It's okay. It's okay. There's people fawning over Ryan. You can fawn over Sharla. I like I have some characters I'm gonna be fawning over. One of them is Sharla. <laughs> the other one, the other one's coming up. The other one's coming up. That's why I had a smile on my face. Okay. But also because legitimately they're one of my favorite characters in the entire series. Okay, I'm gonna give Ryan some shit too, even though I'm not using him right now. Um, because might as well, just in case I want to change to him at some point and bring him back in, which I doubt I will do, but you never know. Maybe they'll like force me to use him at some point. A, a forced Ryan moment, you know? Ryan needs the oil. <laughs> yeah, okay. I love his gear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, his gear does go pretty hard. All right, here we go. Selling. Time to sell Gadolt's rifle, everyone. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't even think they allow me. How heartless would you think I was if I sold Gadolt's rifle, chat? How much would you go shady in all capitals? Anola, welcome back in. It's good to see you. Welcome to the jungle. Not to quote the Guns N' Roses song, but we are in the jungle. You're in the jungle, baby. You're gonna die. Everyone doesn't fawn over Happy Happy. Just never play Xenoblade. Oh, don't worry. We'll get to the happy happy. Absolutely. Happy loots. Appalooply. Who would win an oiled up twerk off between Ryan and Dunban? Ryan. I don't even like... Like, I, I feel like they both wouldn't fully understand the, the, the science of twerking. I'm just... Because I just say science because that sounds funny. Um, But I feel like Ryan would like at least make the attempt. Like, better. Ryan, Ryan's more of a meat man, you know? Like, he's got... He, he already has, like, mad schmeats, you know? 
I hate I I, I hate that I'm taking part in this debate. But but like it's true. All right, let's see. Steel katana. No, sweet God, no. Ryan hit that Yonki Splunk. He would crush Dunban, no question. Exactly. Like he's he's well versed in in the in the arts of Yonki Splunky. I you know a very good point there, Ima. Okay. Um. No, <laughs> no. Magna top. Here we go. Everyone can benefit except for like Dunban. Really, I don't need to get. Eh, it's fine. Oh, I should. Okay, buy two of that. Dunban. Mm. Mm, yeah, why not? I'll sacrifice two either. Why not? Whatever. It's fine. Nothing here. Magna bottoms. Gonna buy two of these. I wanted two of these. Something. Something. Flummy flurm. Blease. Belize. All right, let's see how the new equipment looks, everyone. You ready for the new fit? This is the shit that I love. Look at that. Like, shit like this I love for, like, outfit stuff. I feel like Magna outfits go so hard. Like, look at that. J we need more jungle wear, all right, in games and shit, because jungle wear goes so hard. Like, every time, like, when I play, like, Monster Hunter as well, like, it's one of the reasons why I love Monster Hunter, because the fits be looking like that, and it's so good. Like, look at, look at, look at Dunbans. Holy shit. It's so it's it's so good. It's so good. Did I buy bottoms for him? Yes I did. And then Sharla got Okay, we can finally make her drip better, chat. You ready? Okay, that's better. We need to give her better pants. I didn't buy her the bottoms. Oh oh my god. Um unfortunately her pants are gonna have to stay kinda dripless at the moment, I'm sorry to say. In fact, I think did we did we only just get did we only get her a top? We only got her a top. Um. Yeah. Okay. Is she wearing Crocs? I think so. You know, it's funny because Shulk used to be the dripless one, but man, Charlotte's suffering out here. At least the top looks sick. There we go. Look at that crew. God damn. Absolutely snazzed out. Now, chat, before we continue in this area, there is one thing I want to do. And if you guys ever wondered why in past streams, not even for this game, but just streams in general, uh, if you ever if you ever seen chat in all capitals say to me to you, you're about to see why they've said that after all this time. To me, to you, we got to do it. If we want to stand any chance with f some future fights, we have to do it. So we can craft gems to add attributes to our clothes and 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 our sword and everything. It can be like defense against stuff, agility up, whatever you want, and we can craft it. So we're gonna we're gonna do that now. Hold on. We never actually... We, we never did it yet. I'm surprised we got as far as we did without, do, like, using any gems, really. Except for the built-in ones. Alright. Oh, wow, he gave us some right off the bat. That was cool of him. Anyways, I understand how to do this. Alright, here you go. You ready, you ready everyone? Please, let, let me use it. Oh, for God's sakes, please. Okay, here we go. Yep, I already know. I got it. I got it. Alright, chat. So... It's time, everyone. Thought it was pronounced tomato. To me, to you. To me, to you. To me, to you. <laughs> best part of the whole game. It really is the best part of the game. And it's why they didn't bring it back in the other games. Because it was so good. They didn't want to, like, you know... Ruin its perfection. Uh, here we go. Okay, so with these materials, we can make a good agility up. Which I'm going to throw on Dunban. So anyways, you can choose two friends to back each other. As shooter, and one's an, as an engineer. I think Shulk makes a good engineer, but Ryan and Shulk are the ones. They're the to me to you people, and their affinity is high right off the bat. So, um, I've got it. All right, let's I see what they craft. To me, to you, <laughs> awesome. There we go. To you, Woo. there we go. <laughs> to you, awesome. To me, alrighty, <laughs> awesome. To me, alrighty, <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, awesome. To me, to you. If you don't know what's happening, don't worry. Right. Like no one does. There we go. To you. Nice one. But if we get there that up to 200% chat, we can right. up the ranking to of me. that gem. To you. To me. To you. There we go. There to we you. go. To you. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, there you go. Agility up one, which is like fair enough. Whatever. It also raises your odds to make another gem because it raises the percentage on those materials. I don't have to explain all of it. Just know that it's sick. Um. Do we have any level 2 agility ups? No. 
We're gonna do some more. That was golden. Isn't that amazing? It's so... It's so silly, but in such a fun way. I love this game for that. I love I love this game for that. Let's try let's try some other people real quick. Let's see let's see I, I'm gonna do one more with um Shulk and Ryan, but let's try um let's try having like Sharla be a shooter. And like even though Dunban can't do like that amazing, let's see what Dunban can do. Let's let's try this crew. Consider it done. Okay, let's get on like with it. This? Hope this works. Not bad. Ugh. Hope this works. Yeah. Like this? Oh my this god. Is tricky. Wait, like these this? are a lot of strong flames. We did it. Holy like shit. This? Whoa. Hope this work. Not bad. Whoa, 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 like whoa, whoa. This? Hope this work. Not bad. Oh my Good god. <laughs> they almost went into a fever with that and like made a better gem. What? Charlotte's kind of sick. Okay. You know, it's funny, Myth. You'll be happy to know that starting from Xenoblade 2, there actually are Australians. Like, not like actual Australian, but like they are, um,. They have the Australian accent, along with Welsh. It's kind of, it's kind of goaded. Okay, let's get some more agility. Let's get another agility up while we're at it. Do we have more of those? Yep. Yes, we do. Yeah, there we go. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to build more agility. Agility. There we go. All right. Yeah, we got the Welsh. A Welsh cat girl, even. Which is honestly the greatest thing. Cylinder gauge fills up more with gentle flame. Qualities go stronger with the strong. Yeah, let's do it again. You, re you guys ready for the classic? I've got it. I'm all over that. There we go. Here we go. Alrighty. Awesome. Here we go. To me. Alrighty. Alright. Yep. Let me help too. To you. There we go. Alrighty. Alright. To me. There we go. Alrighty. Awesome. To me. <laughs> to you. Woo. To me. This really is golden. Woo. Like this is such good to content. Alrighty. Awesome. <laughs> to me. To you. Yeah. Go nice boys. One. Go yeah, boys. It's all right, I suppose. Thanks, Charla. <laughs> you, you, you saw that too, huh? Yeah, the other friends can, like, pump you up. Okay. Do we have any high agility canisters that we can use for a fever? I don't I don't think we do. No, we we wouldn't because it was it's secondary. Uh, or what is, we can actually make it a secondary. I put quick step in the front. Actually, you know what? Let's just make another one of these for fun. Why not? Last one, chat. I need to play this game right now. It's so good. It's so good. All right, let's try this pairing. Because Charlotte kind of really okay. helped with those flames. Let's get on to with me. It. Hope this works. Nice one. To me. Hope this works. Not bad. What are you okay. playing at? To me. <laughs> this is tricky. Awesome. There we go. Ryan's this like backseat. He's like, this is how you do it with my bro. We did it. This is how you do it with my bro. You're doing it wrong, Charlotte. This is tricky. Awesome. Get the high five and give props as well. Fist bump. This is pretty tiring what stuff. What are you playing at? Oh, that's so funny. Oh my. I love this. I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> this is tricky. Ch -ch 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 -ch. This pitch is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock and rhyme and something on time and it, it's shit. Yep. It's tricky. It's tricky. All right, here we go. Okay, now for the final one, chat. It's going to be rhyme. And Dunban, the Himbo Squad. They only get five turns, but let's see Consider what they get. Us. I am you ready? All over that. Here we go. To you. Good. Good. Like this. To you. Woo. Ugh. Alrighty. Alright. <laughs> oh my God. To you. Good. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, Alright, I suppose. That was a lot of strong flame. You want? You. Mel. Mel. <laughs> I look over and Mel just in all capital says, "I want to be that device." That. That is amazing. That, I love that. I love. <laughs> oh my god! No. Yamelka. Government issued name. All right. One more. One more time. One more I time. Got it. Who pinned that? Oh, never. That. <laughs> never. To you. Woo. There we oh go. My god. To you. Nice one. Here, Keep it. Try this. Oh there my go. sweet to Jesus. You. Nice one. To me. Alrighty. Awesome. To me. Alrighty. Oh my god. Awesome. To me. There we go. To you. Alrighty. Nice Wait, one. can we get to Let me, me and to you to there commands? We go. Alrighty. Alrighty. I might I might set that up go. myself, but one awesome. that says to you and one yes, that says to me, right, and then the response is just to me or to you in capitals. That would be the dumbest command ever, but I feel like I I I just I feel like it needs to be a thing now. Hold on. Oh thank you, never. I, I, I appreciate <laughs> appreciate you. Alright, one more agility while we're at it. While we're at it, one last one. Because these will benefit us. 
Okay. Here we go. There we go. Alright. How many turns do we get with Charla and Shulk? Nah, it's not the same. If, if it's the final one, it has to be Ryan and Shulk again. Alright. I've got it. Oh, you know what? Okay, we'll do a Ryan and Charla one as well. I want to see how they interact. There we go. We have to see that. So one more after this. There we go. Alrighty. Awesome. There we go. Alrighty. Nice one. Allow me to help. There we go. To you. Nice one. I'm all over that. To you. Woo. There we go. Alrighty. Woo. There we go. To you. I love chat doing it. Alrighty. Chat recording all the lines. Whoa. Double party support. By the way, I can speed this up, but I'm doing it slow just to hear them more. Alrighty. I could speed this up. Oh, let's go. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Never. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh my god. Well, it works. It works, everyone. There you go. Alright. Um, okay. Thank you so much for doing that, Never. I really do appreciate that. And now we have a Xenoblade command, everyone. Okay, um... So we want to do a Sharla and, and Ryan one. Which, to do, those who don't know, it's, it's pretty clear that Ryan seems to have, um... He seems to be a little attracted to Charlotte, just a bit, where every time he pulls off a movie, he's like, Did you see that? Did you see that, Charlotte? So, let's have him handle the flame. Actually, no, he's pretty poor with the flames. So, let's try, um... Oh, but she has no great rank. But she's more balanced, kinda. Qualities go stronger with a strong flame. Okay, you know what? I'm not liking that matchup, then. Let's do this, then. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Screw it. It's bad either way. But let's go. Okay. L plus let's poor flames. Hope this works. Yes. Oh to god, you. a flame drop. Hope this works. Not bad. To you. This Hope game has this massive works. flame drops. Let me help too. With to mine. You. Hope this works. Not bad. Alrighty. This yeah. is tricky. We did it. Uh -huh. To you. Hope this works. Right. This is tricky. Finished. Immediately says she did it. Let's go. So yeah, if we hit over hundred percent, like if we get over two hundred percent with a gem, it levels up, and it's called a fever or something. That's what we're trying to achieve one day. You never crafted level one gems? Yeah, it's, it's a hard one to like, it's like one of those things where like, you only really do it like late game or like halfway through the game sometimes. But uh, I'm going for that. I'm going for as optimized as I possibly can this time. I must. I absolutely must. Because I already know I'm gonna suffer if I don't do all the side quests. Okay, actually, I'm gonna steal this agility from Shulk. Sorry, Shulk. I just nabbed your gem. But you're going to wear a normal one here. One here. Everyone's getting agility. You get agility. Chat gets it. Chat, check under your couch. There's an agility gem in there. Um, She's already mad on the agility. In fact, all her stuff is already preset gems. She's the most agile out of all of us, maybe. Well, let me see the agility rate. 97, 87, 86. Okay. You must optimize the to me to Uranus. It's true. I have to optimize that. I think by, uh, by raising affinities, we'll... Uh, We'll get that one going real well. But there you go. That that was why that is why chat says to me to you all the goddamn time. Because it's it's amazing. My cat ate the agility gem. Can you imagine a cat with the zoomies, which is all cats? Like a zoomy cat with an agility gem on? You might as well just say goodbye to everything. It's over. Alright. We're going back. I can't believe this gem creation game also comes with a full JRPG. <laughs> oh my god. It truly is one of the- it truly is the part of the game, huh? Oh, that chest is still there? I didn't expect the game to remember, that's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, this is a lovely view. And remember, this shit originated on the Wii. The Wii was able to run- like, it didn't look this good, obviously. This is a full remake, but still. You were able to walk across this big bridge and see those falls all- By the way, this isn't- that isn't out of bounds. You can swim to those waterfalls. You can swim to those waterfalls. You can swim all the way through this, like, ravine as well. And you- yeah, bridge one. Yeah, check out over there. I got more bridges. Did you almost push her off? No! She almost did that herself, okay? Bad AI. Yeah, I tried- no, I'm kidding. I didn't put- oh god, you almost pushed her. I didn't mean to do it! I didn't mean to do it! I'm goaded. I'm nice. I'm a pro gamer. Okay, test it. What, by swimming all the way there? That's such a time sink. Okay, you know what? There is a part where I will be near there, though. So I could. Unless you mean test pushing her off. Then how dare you all? How do you think Juju would feel, chat? The god himself. He would crash his buggy into your house. 
Actually, no. If he well, once again, I guess if he tries to do that, he'll actually end up driving good. But still, he'll 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 still try. Push her off, then swim to rescue her. <laughs> no. Also, she would like I'll, I'll spoil it for you now. She would spawn back behind us, but she would take some fall damage. And she might even like complain a bit, be like, "Oh, that was bad." Actually, no. If she lands in water, she'll be fine. But sometimes they do jump off edges by accident. <laughs> like, the AI in this game, especially out of the three games, are hilarious like that. Ruin Xenoblade for me. Thank you, Shady. Nah, you're all about it. You're still all about it. Okay, chat, I'm curious, alright? I know you all like him with a shirtless, but we have to see how the jungle top looks on him. We just got another one. Let's see how it looks. Okay, come on now. Come on now. He has to wear it for a bit. That looks sick, chat. He's got like a Bowser look to him. That's sick. Alright. He's keeping it. He's keeping it for now. Panther top. Whoa. Stats. Um, I'm gonna give the Shulk. Let's go. That's a man horror drip. I'm saying, right? You see? Yeah, just take a look. Then take it off. Whoa. Bagris. My favorite main character from Hades. <laughs> Can't believe he's in the game. Bagris himself. By the way, chat, do you notice the spikes around that name? That means it has spike damage, which means if you hit it, if you hit it, you take damage as well. Spike damage is the worst thing ever. And, 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 and also, you know, it's a nebula and it's 96. So basically, it's, it's a fight I'll, I never want in this game. Even when I'm like level 99, I don't want to fight with that thing because it would just be annoying. Ooh, ooh, daze it, daze it, daze it, daze it. Go, 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 go. Boom. Literally easiest fight in the game. Capping. Capping right now. Nebula, Bebula. Shadow Eye on that shit. Get some break. Good, 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 good. Nutbuster, yep. You're fighting a cloud of gas, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, and he's, he's volatile. He's like, he's like after... <laughs> he's like Taco Bell. I, I don't know. 90% of the post game is desperately trying to keep spikes down. Yep, it sure is. And Maru, Maru yo, welcome in, Maru, Maru. I hope you've been well. It's good to see you. It's good to see you in. Ooh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Maru, Maru is right. Like the the end game of this is trying to keep that um spike damage sustained, <laughs> and it's never a permanent thing. It's always a temporary thing you can do. Which I'm not gonna say what it is yet. I won't spoil it because it's probably gonna happen this stream. But, um, yeah. Super bosses in this game and stuff are wild. Also, we got dinosaurs, chat. You guys like dinosaurs, right? I love dinosaurs. Here's an, here's an, uh, an electrical one. With a mouth on his head. He's got a mouth for, like, a forehead. It's, it's kind of it's kind of freaky. But he's kind of neat. I like him. Been super busy. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, it's good to have you back in. And hope the busyness at least, um, has been good busyness. You know, hope you've been I, either, you know, hope it's either been productive or you've been, quote unquote, getting that bag, as the kids say. Um, but yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you back and I hope you enjoy your time here. Yeah, where's your mouth? Pretty sure it's on part of your head. <laughs> is that your defense? Uh, is that your defense for the dinos? Wait, what? Oh, I missed the banter. Oh, no, that one sounded like a good one. It's fine. Cool gel. Hell yeah. More, I mean, gel yeah. I'm not sorry. And welcome back in, crazy rat chick. Good to see you. Welcome in, Darkin. Oh my god. A few lads. I'm here to lurk. No worries. Have yourself a lovely lurk. But thank you so much for coming by and saying hi. Always means a lot. And I hope you enjoy the lurk. Let's see. Alright. Loud incorrect buzzer. And Maru Maru, thank you so much. For the uh, for the the sub as well, I really I really really appreciate that, and I hope you enjoy the ad free experience. That's right, you don't have to watch craft dinner cup ads or bears talking about shitting themselves because I get that one pretty often. <laughs> but for real though, I really appreciate the support. I always appreciate having you around. Thank you so much. Happy September. Thank you. Thank you. Happy September to you too. Um. Because you do be streaming. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I actually forgot that it is September. 30% um, discount on all subs and gift subs. Crazy, wow. Um, 
It's okay, Shady. Our banter is way better than the video game banter. Is it, though? Is I want to be that machine truly better? It kind of is. That, that was really funny. That, that was really funny. I'm bleeding. Oh, God. Can I have a sandwich, please? You, okay, what kind of sandwich? Still have 200 plus hours to go on 100%ing. Oh, you know, Maramar, I was actually talking about 100%ing Xenoblade 2 with another member in chat. Um, good luck with Ursula. Good, good luck with Ursula, who is like 80% of the goddamn game. Like, I'm, I'm lying, but like, you know. I wish you the best of luck with that. I think that's like the only one I haven't 100% completed. Like that game. But I would, I would love to get back to it someday. I think when I stream too, it'll uh, it'll give me the drive to like actually 100% nice. that game we finally. You want a Vegemite? Uh, uh, uh. Now I know you're Australian for sure. Now I know you're Australian for sure. I'm a bust. Here I go. Mm, that did shit all. I shouldn't have done that. And I fell asleep. You never beat next. Oh, you should. Yeah, you should absolutely try it on stream. That game is that game. That game is very fun. At the ending. Um. Well, I don't want to say much more than that. The end is very interesting. Oh, God. But I will say, oh, man, the final song, without, without spoiling, obviously, but the, the final song is so damn good. It's so damn good. Okay, we're going we're gonna to manage this. As you can see, we're on the edge of dying again to normal enemies, so we kind of want to be, you know... We, we, we want to keep up with the fighting the whole enemies thing, you know? Before things get really bad. Ozzy detected. Oz alert, alert, Ozzy alert. In fact, we're pro Myth, would you say this kind of looks like Australia a bit? Is this the Australian part of, this, of the Xenoblade world? Of the Bionis? The Australianis? Musky Nectar. That's only something you guys would name me. Musky Nectar. Maybe some parts of Queensland? There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sour Cinderella. Holy shit, that's a good one. I want a peanut butter mayo sandwich. Oh, oh god. Oh. No, you don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gaslight you right now. Even if you do, you don't. You don't want that. And I'm not giving it to you. Because you because you clearly don't want that. Isn't that a plasma kangaroo? What is it? Oh, you mean the dinosaur thing. Okay, I got confused. I was like, plasma kangaroo? What? You mean the thing with dinos in its name, Mel? Hmm? Hmm? Oh wait, hang on, wait, there's a quest monster here. Ooh, an ant cell. I know about these guys online, they suck. They like hate women and stuff. Let's beat it up! Mm. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. God, even the no pun area has ant cells, huh? Shady, I was thinking about that joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one that one was right out in the open for us, for the taking. That means we have to beat it up extra hard. Do you drink your soda with or without the pulp? What what soda what soda with the pulp are y'all having? What soda with the pulp are y'all having? If you say Dr Pepper, I'll believe you. And yes, that was me. That was me insulting Dr Pepper. I'm sorry. I noticed a lot of Dr Pepper fans, and that's why it's extra funny for me to say this. I hate Dr Pepper. I even messed up my B button for that. It tastes like ass. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dr. Pepper is my soup of drinks. Soda pulp. Why is that a name? Like, thank you so much for the gifts of BB Fist, but why is that a name? God damn it. God damn it. Well, hey, Beefy, much love to you, man. Thank you so much for doing that. Please don't drink the soda pulp, everyone. Please don't. Mr. Shady Skater, your goober, have you upgraded your arts yet? Oh, thank you. Thank you. It has been an hour now, hasn't it? Okay. We have to go to Colony 9 and buy some arts when we hit the next checkpoint. Thank you for reminding me. I actually did forget. <laughs> I got all goobed up. You goobed me. I have been goobed. I buy Dr. Pepper. That's because it's the most caffeine of the sodas. Does it? You know what? That would make sense. Because in my eyes, Dr. Pepper... Not to insult it again, but, you know, to insult it again. If you guys have ever played King's Cup back in your old teen or college days or whatever, I, I don't know, I played like once or twice back when I actually drank a little bit. Um, But King's Cup involves 
mixing a bunch of shit into one cup in the middle of the table. And then if you lose, you have to drink from that cup. In fact, I'm pretty sure you have to drink all of the cup. That is what Dr. Pepper feels like to me. Like, just like a cocktail of madness. <laughs> There's also Extreme King's Cup, but that one... That one's something else, let me tell you. I, I was like, do I want to go into it? It's not even that bad or anything. It's not like you kill people or anything. But it will it has like really random things like... One person has to go under the table. And they're not allowed to leave from under that table unless someone else pulls a card for them. Um, now, all my friend group is nice, so they didn't do the next part. The next part would be to kick them. Uh, I don't know why that's part of the rule. Remember, this is like college days, so this is like young, like, you know, 19 to like, you know, 22, 23 or whatever. But one of them, the hilarious one, is swapping clothes. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird game. It's a weird game. Let me tell you, though, don't sit next to someone who's like double your size. Because your clothes will never be the same. Oh, God. Wasn't Ultimate King's Cup adding hot sauce and piss? Wait, what? I'm sorry. What What? What Ultimate King Cup do they have where you... What? Hang on. What? Rig what? I'm sorry. Hot... What? <laughs> Hang on. No, I can't... I can't let that one go. No, I don't know about that one, Regal. Please elaborate. <laughs> please... Please elaborate. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of funny. That actually came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't actually expect to laugh like this at that. But I guess <laughs> I just I think what made it funnier is looking at only smiles, just saying "piss" in capitals and three question. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> oh God, I'm sweating. Oh, nah. No, it's not real. I don't- I, I don't believe you. <sighs> I'm lightheaded. <sighs> oh my god. Do you know what a shoey is? No. Is it taking a drink out of a shoe? Because I know people have done that. Is that- is that what it is? Or is it- or is it something like way less gross than that? Whew. Do you ever partake in Rage Cage? No. What- what's Rage Cage? Please tell me someone gets, like, wrestled in that. Like, gets slammed through a table. It's probably not that, but still. Apparently, it's part of Australian tradition. Oh, wait, it really is the shoe thing? Like, drinking out of a shoe? Yo, I actually got it. I'm get. I, I've, been, I've been getting Australian terminology down recently. Except one time, Nomo was like, do you know what a bilby is? And I thought it was your guy's short form for saying billboard. Turns out a bilby is an animal. And it's actually really cute. Um... Yeah, I thought it was short for billboard. <laughs> Ooh, more quest enemies. <laughs> I don't know, you guys You guys say stuff like sunnies. And like, you, you guys call flip-flops like thongs, you know? You know? Sunnies is cute though, I like that one. You guys got other ones too, I can't remember. Oh, like poverty is povo. Pavo. Ah, oh, shit. I heard my- oh wait, hang on, hang on. Regal has an explanation, let me see. I heard my class playing it, and when they ran out of reasonable options, and they wanted everyone to go even further beyond, so they added hot sauce, then a drop of soap, then- Nope. And then a half-empty bottle of juice that was under the bed for months. Are they alive? Did that, like, make the news, Regal? <laughs> you know, as much as I want to be like, what the hell, that really was, like, what some college people were up to. It's wild. It's wild. I can safely say I've never been that wild. I've also never- I also never went to college or university to those, like, who don't know. It's just all my friends did, so, like, you know, I just, like, took part like that. But no, after- after high school, I just, like, I, I had a job. And then I per pursued, like, the whole music thing, which, like, thank god it worked out. That's a big brog! Holy shit! The Magna brog! I forgot there's gigantic-ass frogs here! You need him? The big brog? He's kind of Pog, isn't he? He's big Pog? Broggers? Brog champ? Alright, chat. I will I will bring him to you! But 
mayhaps I would like to bring him to me. Perhaps we can swap in a to you, to me fashion. I wish there was a way to make a to you, to me, like, emote. But I'm like, damn, it would be hard to, like, make the quality show. It'd have to be, like, sizable to the, to the, to the square. But it could be, like, Shulk shouting in one direction and Ryan shouting in the other direction. Like, like they're high tension face emotes. Or something. I wonder if that could work. And be like a, like two temporary emotes. That would be kind. That would be kind of the pog. <laughs> to you, to me, emotes, with Shulk and Ryan facing each other. Oh shit! Yo, we're actually almost. I think we made it. No, we didn't make it. But we are for some story. Temporary. I can leave it. Maybe. Maybe. I won't kill it off like the old Moon Pog. Over there. Here comes best character. Best girl. Hey, are you okay? For real though, you. like she is my favorite. She's great. There, look, a vision of the future again. Shulk. You guys are gonna wrong? love her. Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There, After this come to go I level up. clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Thank you, don't panic. Okay. I'll carry her. All right. Pyra? Oh, no. Pyra's the best in that game. But in this game, Melia. For days. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's mm. well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Oh, well, she does have wings on her head. Very strange hmm. for a Homs. A sudden drop oh, wait, in no, ether doesn't. content in the surrounding her atmosphere did, causes though. a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. She's wearing a funny hat. But in this girl's case... What mm -hmm. can we do? Mm -hmm. We're gonna need water-type ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Hey, eh? you, You're gonna shoot her? <laughs> no, silly. I'll fire them Ryan. into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. She shot you. Uh, oh, that's what I thought. Ryan. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. Tell us about the crystals. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too. So I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. <laughs> See ya. Never mind. I don't need to look out for you. Just, just go. Time for me to swim. See, I told you it'd be near waterfalls. I actually didn't. I think I did. Never mind. It's a solo shulk quest, everyone. Which means I'm gonna fight like no one. <laughs> we ain't strong enough for that. You do it solo for real? Yeah, you do it solo for real. Um, because... Well, I'm not gonna say anything. All I'm gonna say is... This chapter is great. <laughs> this chapter is awesome. Karis Nebula, spike damage. Nope. Fight everyone? Hell nah. Okay, don't panic. After this, after this, I'll go for the arts. Actually, wait, can I just quick travel and leave them here? That'll be really funny. I can. I can just go home. Okay, I'll just do it now then. Goodbye, everyone. It's fine. Everyone knows how much Shulk loves taking all the aggro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the aggro tank, everyone. <laughs> God, I hate when that happens though. Like, Shulk is such a glass can in that sense where like, I mean, it, it's a tactic thing. You you don't want to be spamming your arts, but sometimes you just feel like doing it. And man, Shulk gets aggroed so hard for it, justifiably. My poor boy having well. to put up with this shit. All right. Um, let's upgrade our backslash. Let's get some light heal. We don't need Ryan stuff, really. So we're, we're covered there on Shulk. We need to hit up some more stores, though, real quick. Uh, what's the next store? Um... Uh, refugee camp. So I don't know what that noise was. The Refugi. <laughs> Shulk, you were gone for a really long time. What happened? <laughs> I was farming up dudes, Ryan. You wouldn't get it. 
still on the lore of, of Shulk being a Redditor. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh my god. All right, here we go. Some Charlotte stuff and some stuff for me as well. Some heal blast in here. Um, get some shield bullet. And we're poor. God, this song is still one of my favorite songs. It's so good. Oh, wow. King Frog. A frog caught by who? Chat, did we, um... Did we get this a bit too early? <laughs> what, what the hell? Huh. Well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bring up anything to do with that. Just, like, wow. Who? Don't worry. Is all I can really say. Um, what? Can that happen? Why, why did I... Why did I get that? <laughs> this damn game breaking the sea. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe Shulk saw it in his Monado. It was a vision, you know? It's okay because I'm not ending the stream till we see what that's all about. That's where I planned anyway, so... You're, we're all good. In fact, it's still early. So, I'm gonna just grab a bite real quick for a quick BRB. Um, but I'm down to go for a bit more. Okay. Who mega lol? <laughs> Let's see. The Shulk say to me or to you? Ooh, um... Oh, shit. Chat. What does Shulk say? Does he say to me or to you? I actually don't know. Um... Oh, God. I don't know which ones I did. Uh, oh, wait. It says, it says how much I have. Okay. Cure bullet. All right. That's all I'll do for now. He says to me. Okay. There you go. There you go, QB. To me! Okay. I think the waterfalls are back here. I wanted to tell you this. You got me so curious on Pikmin lore. I watched a video on Louie and I can't believe you were telling the truth this whole time. I told you. You see? You see? <laughs> Louie's a piece of shit. He's such an asshole. <laughs> it's so funny though. It's so funny to see you say that after you being the top Louie defender. But I knew. I knew. Like, Lou, it's so hard to be like a Louie apologizer once you know things about him from like Pikmin 2. Louis the goat? Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Don't you dare. We hate Louis in this house. You'll still stand for him? Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. But I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I, you should check out some more of the lore stuff. It's really, really good. I got a Dunban weapon in Calling 9 before entering Tefri Cave. That's nothing new. Okay, so it can't happen, huh? I just never had it happen before. That's so funny. Oh god, nope. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Or if I could just, you know, we'll just do this and then grapple. There we go. All right, we're looking for pure ether crystals. To those who don't know what they were talking about earlier, because with pure ether crystals, we can shoot it into uh, whoever that girl is, because she has an ether deficiency for some reason. Um. And uh, yeah, we'll see what that's all about. Apparently, she has strange attributes not seen in a Hams, or not usual for a Hams smile. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to walk off the edge. But anyways, here comes, well, one of my favorite cutscenes. And moments. Ooh, got a quest item as well, though. What, what is this? What the hell? Oh, these are the crystals. <laughs> Just tell us about the crystals. Huh? Huh? Who are you? Here we go. Best boy. Best boy time. Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. He's legit one of my favorite characters. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. To pause real quick, you might have remembered him riding a Telethia back in the last, uh, back in the last stream when the Telethia shot Metal Face. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Now I can finally say his name. Alvis is Pog. Alvis. Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Oh? Isn't it? Uh, how does he know? How did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. Who the hell's saying that? You're famous amongst all Homs. There's not enough Homs to be saying this. <laughs> well, I guess I, I would be famous because there's only like three Homs left. Oh! Shulk knows him from somewhere. What They're was here. that vision? 
Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. Hmm? It must have drawn them. How does he know about all of that? What? Huh? Oh! I'll deal with this myself. Yeah? Alright, do it. Go, Schultz. From the left? Then I'll go. Hmm. How huh? come his vision didn't come true, chat? Oh. <laughs> hmm. That's how lefty just played his ass. Alright, let's try again. Now. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> it can't be. I saw its movement before it struck. How can it? <coughs> it is a telethia. Telethia. You see the future? Not quite. They can read your mind. They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, that's if they so know broken. Your next move, it's all in vain. They just know what you're gonna do. <laughs> you, you know about my visions. It's rough. How could you possibly? There is only one yep. way. Interesting creatures stop they are, it huh? In its tracks oh? and dull its perception. Elvis has the Monado, no, and he's Alvin, fine. Stop! You don't know how to. And a new art? Huh? A new symbol? Hmm? How did he do that? How is he doing that? He unlocked a new power on it and everything, and it doesn't hurt him. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's kind of pog. That was amazing. Kaoru, oh my god, yeah. I suggest you stop staring. <laughs> oh my god. All right. The sword is How did yours, he do that? Career. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. Oh? You control it. Mm hmm He does kind of control it. Remember, I... control remember it. every time he wanted to do something to save someone, he activated speed or shield? I will stop them. Cool pose. Let's go. All right, chat. We got a new art. This one is Purge. This is the one that stops spike damage, but it also stops these fools from reading our mind. And hello, Maniacal Gamer. Thank you for the rate. What is that? The Don Bluth and Pixar's Cars crossover you never wanted or asked for. What the hell is that? Thanks for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. I'm fighting dragons who can read my mind. Um, hang on a second here. Purge, da da da, -da Prevents them from activating another aura. Um, or a soul read replenished. All right. Yeah, welcome in everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I am Shady Cicada. I stream all kinds of things. I stream video games, which is pretty cringe. I feel like Maniacal Gamer does it too, and honestly, it's the most... It, honestly, kind of cringe. I don't know why they do that. But, um, I mean, we all do nonetheless. <laughs> welcome... No, but for real. Welcome in. I play video games. I love all kinds. Uh, Zelda and Xenoblade are my favorite series ever. I'm doing a bit of a chill run on the entire story of all the games, because I just kind of want to. And um, if you're down for a chill time, feel free to stick around. If not, thanks for coming by and saying hey. Always means a hell of a lot. And with that being said, Maniacal Gamer, what were you up to? What were you streaming? Oh shit, they got Soul Read on again. So yeah, by doing this, you can cancel their Soul Read. And then no more mind reading. Boom. Oh, by the way, chat, last thing before. Uh, count how many times Alvis tells you to feel his power. Alright. Also, who am I targeting? Oh, hang on. Hang on, I think I messed up something here real quick. But yeah, what were you, uh, what were you playing, dude? Thank you so much for the raid. Okay, okay, let's, let's purge again. Here we go. You wanna feel him? Y yeah? <laughs> yeah? 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 Mm -hmm. It's okay, his design's sick, too. He was what? His power chase power! Oh, oh. Ah, that doesn't hurt that much. I can block that. It's fine. I'm not even gonna change the future for that. Alright. Let's hurry up and kill, please. Feel it! Feel his power, everyone! Feel it. 
the raid came in for the most like brain dead moment. Like my brain's going because I'm just hearing him say that. <laughs> he won't stop. Uh oh. Oh, I can't dodge that. I got nothing for purple moves. With their based attacks. I didn't want to warm up. <laughs> we can definitely do this. I know Shulk. Lost Ray and Cross Ray. Okay, chat, do you want to deal physical damage or a large amount of physical damage? I wonder. Anyways, he did it on the wrong enemy, so that's cool. It's because I warned about the wrong damn enemy. But we can feel his power. And we'll welcome in Terminal Turtle. How you doing? Good to see you back in. Welcome to mind reading uh, dragons. They can read our mind. And we're trying to stop them from doing as such. Yeah, he has two arts only. The same way we all have two wolves. Those are his two wolves. Strong move and stronger sword. Yeah, he also has a junk sword, chat. Which is um the first sword that Shulk has in the game. He does have one. There's also some other stuff, but I'm not saying it. But there is some interesting uh, stuff, like lines he says sometimes. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. But we're not we're not looking to say everything about characters yet. Come on, come on, finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Finish him, finish him. He's your emo self from high school. Also true. Also true. <laughs> well. You see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. So how hey. do you know so much? Wait a second. Yep. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> They were not the primary Telethia. Just ignores them? Merely at spawn. Christ. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. How is he sensing all of that? The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. A girl? Welcome in, Red The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric <laughs> of existence. It was not Pyrozenoblade. Also, what? Of both the material and the immaterial. Hmm. Alvis. That's not your regular sword. How do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? He said it. He said the sword can disturb reality. That's pretty. That's a pretty Shulk! wild thing to drop. Oh, hey. Shulk! Huh? Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Come meet Elvis. I'm over here! Hey, man. What's up? Shulk. We looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. I got eaten attacked by, no by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? All right, see you, man. Cool. But he was... Thanks, man. Uh, Good. There's no one here. He could have just stayed for like two I'm more seconds. You, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. <laughs> Ain't no one else around. <laughs> you probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Oh, my God, Ryan. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. <laughs> Okay, Poor okay. Shulk. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, <laughs> did you find any ether crystals? I believe you, but yes. also, since you're lying out your Good ass. quality ones, too. <laughs> Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Ryan, what, what the, Hang what the hell? Hang long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not lying. This <laughs> Poor Shulk. The, the actual sadness right there. This poor little man. Alvis. Who are you? You went back to Foster's home for imaginary friends. Oh my, I used to love that show. That used to be one of my favorite cartoons ever. Damn, that's a throwback. Anyone here watch that show? Oh, hey, look, he's there. He just teleported to a rock really far across the ocean. What? Blue is such an asshole, though. An enemy man, that show. renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Oh god, cheese. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? 
Oh my god. No! <laughs> I'm just saying. You're pissing them off, You Ryan. and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? I don't know if okay. two people can do Locked it, then maybe loaded. three. Everyone, stand back. Ryan. Alright, time to shoot her. More like a shower. <laughs> Thank God we have a medic for these himbros. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... Watch it! Damn, girl! F forgive me. I I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. An infant? Wait, who's an infant? Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk, you're creeping this lady out. Shut up, mm. Shut up Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> nice. Get his ass. This one's far worse. Oh, my Malia, God. Malia, is it? How did you get here, then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Mm. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. Don't ban out here with the, na <laughs> the, the nanners? The, the manners. And what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Magna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there Manners. when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Oh, hell yeah. Really? She'll be our tour there guide. There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Aerith Sea. So, Aerith. this Aerith. Aerith Sea is at the head of the Bionis. If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. But yeah, Melia, lover. Shulk. Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. <laughs> Bruh. It, it, <laughs> You're all British as hell. <laughs> but I get it. I understand. I know what you mean. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon Village. That's where we've been. Gotta heading. say, Dunban, best girl. We reckon Fair. it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Aerith Sea from their village. Okay. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon Village. All right. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. This part will be Pog. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. All right, Dunban, best tank. I agree. In reserve. Now, do I... Hmm. Wait, why is Ryan in the party now? What? No. I mean, like, I love Ryan, but, like, no. Hang on. Let's try... Let's try Melia out. She is a, uh... She is an ether user. Which is very, very convenient. Can I give her anything right off the bat? Um... But, yeah, no. She... She's... She's my favorite. Like, I... I love Melia. Um... No... No, nope. she's too good for any of this gear. As you can see, she has that high and mighty kind of attitude. But maybe we'll figure out more about that. Let's give her some, um, let's also give her some agility. Why not? Do we have anything for ether? We have ether defense. Might as well. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. one second chat. Give her, I don't know, she doesn't need really strength. Eh, go for that. That's fine, whatever. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we're good here for now. Gem time? Not... Oh, yeah. Wait. Actually, no. Not quite yet. 
But I will upgrade some of my... Oh, God damn it, me. Why are you doing that? I will upgrade my purge a little bit. Also, sorry, there's no audio here, I know. Not as high and mighty as your attitude, sarcasm. <laughs> Took me on a wild ride there. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true, though. I, I, I am royalty, chat. It's true. I come from a long line of ble bleeborbs. And I am I am the next prince in line of the bleeborbs. It's true. Ask ask the bleeb king if you don't believe me. It's Mario. Wait, never mind. That makes Mario my dad. Hmm. Good lore. Good lore tonight. Oh, it's Serene Heart. Wait, th does does Sharla have her crazy bullet yet? No. I might still use Sharla, but I'm gonna have Melly in here for now and see if that does anything because like. Without a healer, it might be a little rough. So yeah, we can remove spike abilities with our Monado Purge now. Or we can topple them. Um, the monster deals damage or inflicts debuffs when attacked. Right, down spike. Oh no, sorry, sorry, no. It's not to topple them. It's if you topple some enemies, then they have spike damage. Which sucks so much ass. Um, and if a party member gets too close, it can be spike. Okay, right. I actually forgot about those. So there's spike defense and then there's purge. So, yeah. We're going to have to make some spike gems at some point. Wait, so Mario, the Mario Bleeboard, the Kronji, first of his name is your papa. It's true. Yeah. All right. If I fail this, then Melly isn't for me at the moment. <laughs> She's probably better when I actually use her. I just don't like using her. <laughs> no, it's not because she's bad. She's actually amazing. I just like using a big laser sword. It's essentially just that. I think at least one enemy has a spike that inflicts topple. There is. I recall something like that. It, like that. It's just terrible. That's just that's so awful. This game is evil sometimes. Melly is so nepotism core. Chat, can you remind me what nepotism means? I actually I actually forgot. Why is she nepotism core? Smooth brain um, AI, but also she's so cute. No, she's very, very cute. Wait until you find out how old she is. Because it's... It, I'm going to tell you this. Well, actually, no, I don't want to say it yet. I don't want to say it yet, because lore. Lore. Oh, shit. Do I want to do a chain attack? No. Okay, I'll tell you one thing, Mel. You're right about one of those things. <laughs> you like her, so we have a good idea. God damn it. You know what? Next time, next time a pretty lady appears in a video game, I will not say I like them. Because the minute I do, the automatic assumption is, yeah, they old, huh? I'm just, I'm just never going to mention it. I'll just never mention it. I can, I can hold back. Floppy Crest. Good name. That, that's another one of my names. Um, Yeah. I will now never, I'll never say it again. We can't lose. Melly is very Doctor Who assistant core. Oh, 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 born into wealth, a place of money, nepotism. Okay. Nepotism always sounded like abusing a drug or something to me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, what do you got, Melia? Oh, I'm definitely hungry. Stomach's growling. Mm hmm. Stack them reds. Guilt fan? Get out of here. Get out of here right now with that sweet Jesus. Nepotism giving positions in government or companies to family. Gotcha. Oh, oh, it's literally a family. Okay. I see. I see. Ooh. Ooh, God. Elder Gragas? All right, chat. Do I fight him? Do I fight him without Charla or with Charla? What do you think? This one's actually kind of tough. It's in the yellow range. Oh, boy. With, with Charla? Okay. Without? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a name you would come up with? What? Elder Gragas? <laughs> yeah, to, to get, to get, to get the secret leaked Mario game, you have to fight the Elder Gragas. On the, on the, uh, on the Zol, 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 Zolbo planes. Pray Dunban dodges good. Okay, I'm a Xenoblade professional. Listen to me. All right. I mean, hey. If anyone claims to be professional, I mean, I have to believe them. I'm kidding. Right. Let's do this. 
I actually wasn't. I was going to change it, and I was like, let me try Melia, because I feel bad, because I like Melia. I just wanted to have her moment. Maybe this will be it. Dunban's already dying. Dun Dunban's already dying. I, I can tell you. I can tell you right now how this can be, but you're not going to like it. It's because I, I need... It's because I need you-know-who back in here. All right, you know what? I'm not good in Xenoblade meta. All right? Unless I replace... No, I'm not replacing Dunban. I will use Melia at times, though. Because Melia, Melia is good for a few, like, pretty sick things. But, um... Oh my god, he's still following me. This is great. Okay. Let's try. I don't think this is... Yeah, this is not Melia's moment. She'll have her moment. Charlotte, get yourself back in here, please. All right, let's go. Me yeah, Melly is an ether nuke. That's a pretty good way to word it. Especially for her, like, her special move, if I recall. So, chat, her whole thing is when she uses ether moves, it builds up a meter the more you use them. And when the meter gets full, you hit the special attack, and she just unleashes, like, this sick-ass ether beam. And that does, like, uh, that does some damage. That's her whole gimmick. Oh, God. Shady Bleeborb Cicada Temple Run Expert. <laughs> temple Run, huh? Okay. Alright. Shady Cicada hates Melia so much he stopped using it forever. No! No! Oh god. Oh Christ. What, what did it do? Jesus. I doubt Shield is gonna do anything, but you know what? Uh, might as well. Let's see if it does anything. Uh, please? God? Okay, I'm asleep. We're both asleep. Alright. I don't think I'm ready for Elder Gregus, chat. I'm just gonna... Um, can I even make it away before he kills me? Nope. Well, it was fun, everyone. You could summon orbs. The orbs give you AoE buffs. You can hit her talent to launch the orbs to do damage and charge her talent gauge. You know what's funny? I actually didn't remember that. That's sick. That's sick. Also, if I kill one of these guys, I, yeah, I did worse without Melia, which means Melia might be kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of for me. Hold on, let me let me bring her back in. Melia is for me. Just you know. How do you see stuff about the character, like their bios and stuff? I'll find it later. There's like a whole affinity. Oh, hold on. There we are. 18, 18. Question mark. Question mark age. 30, 21. Thank you for not making them goddamn 12-year-olds that look like this. <laughs> thank you, Japan. Th thank you, Monolith Soft. Oh, God. Yes, he's question mark years old, Chad. Are you, have you guys never been question mark years old? Whoa. Chat, why is my Monado why is my Monado stuck on long? Oh, it's because I fell asleep. My Monado was stuck on long. Oh my god. That was kind of dope. Let me help the depression real quick here. You always forget your age. It's okay because I always forget my species. Oh my god, stop putting us to sleep! What is this? Shulk screams in his sleep. <laughs> that was just night terrors. He wasn't actually hurt there. He just dreamed of being hurt. Oh my god. What is this fight? You're 55 Glorbo you're you're 55 years old in Glorbo years? Aren't you a Pikmin? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I saw an amazing video of them, a, a bunch of Pikmin singing Let the Bodies Hit the Floor, except that it was called I Can't Count the Four. Um, and like the white Pikmin was on like guitar, the blue Pikmin was singing. It was pretty dope. They're making you play Hey Pikmin? Oh, is that why I'm having night terrors? They're, they're making you play the game that, um, doesn't exist? Indeed, I concur. You know what? She do got that poshness. Saw it yesterday. It, it's so good. In fact, in fact, I think I found it because of chat posting in Discord. I sent it to Abby, and she was like, "Who's teaching them how to count?" Oh, that's a good point. Electric nutbuster. Do I want to waste a chain attack? No, I don't. Literally, my three brain cells are like that. 
these three here are my three brain cells. They even go huh, and summon Bolt. It's true. Where did Alvis go? Oh, you're still thinking about that, huh? I wonder. I wonder, Soccer. Do you want him back? I'm sure. I'm sure we'll come by him again. Smile. <laughs> Who knows? That could be the only time we see him. Maybe it could have been more of a symbolic thing. Uh, who knows? Either way, I'm going to keep lying to you guys about what does and doesn't happen. Uh, and thank you for the gift sub to Electric Nutbuster. I'm so glad that's real. Honestly, huge props to the person who got, gave themselves that name. Thank you so much, Beefy Fist, for the gift sub. What in God's name are we doing to ourselves? Making each other laugh. That's what we're doing. But man, that's good. That's a good one. I wish that was my alt account. My friend said it's Raining Men and Bodies are the same song from two different points of view. Thought you'd enjoy that. I guess it is. I suppose it is. Also, congrats, uh, one guy in the band. You're, uh, aren't you, uh, like, getting married or something like that? I, I love how he said it most nonchalantly like that, but, like, aren't you? Like, didn't you propose? I think I saw that in the Discord. You got engaged. Yo, big, big congrats to that, to that one guy in a band in chat for getting engaged. They said yes, chat. And to that, I say, hell yeah. I was there. I wasn't there, but like, I'm like the third wheel. So after the proposal, I just go, hell yeah. Hell yeah, my dudes. I'm proud of you both. Then I say, can I get some chicken nuggets as celebration for the two of you? No, but for real, big congrats, dude. That's a, that's a big hell yeah, man. Very, very happy for you. Okay, okay, okay. For that, I will kill this dinosaur extra hard for you. Mm. Marriage is an epic Fire Emblem reference. Yeah, I can't believe, like, we ripped off Fire Emblem supports and, like, actually got married IRL. Like, they be calling gamers nerds, but, like, come on now. <laughs> Bro is destroying Aussie fauna. <laughs> I really am a menace to Australia. Holy shit. All the Aussies were right about me. I don't think they've ever said I'm a menace to Australia. They just tried to hit me back with Canada isn't real. But this is what happens when you say Canada isn't real, Australians. Look at what you've done. Is that a candle on his back? So this is an Inferno Dinos. So he's got like a little flame geyser. So yeah, you know what? A candle. Everyone getting married and having kids recently? I know. I have, I've had about like six of them now. Marriages and kids. My latest child, um, Klee. <laughs> Just straight up Klee, I guess. Says hi. And, and Luma from Mario Galaxy. And Makar. Those are my children. 400 wives, Sailor Coca-Cola. Holy shit. You guys have used that command 400 times. That's awesome. Can we hear what she has to say? Yeah, I got you. Uh, watch your ears, because I don't know which one it is. So just turn your volume down for like two seconds. Nope. 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 I hate, there you go. I hate, hate Mondstadt's crabs. All of them. I want to go out and play. I don't want to just sit there and try to de-shell a crab all day. There you go. That's what Klee has to say. I... <laughs> She doesn't- she hates Mondstadt crabs. She doesn't want to de-shell a crab all day. Come on, chat. I understand. I don't want to de-shell crabs all day either. I just want to eat them. My daughter knows well. I don't even play Genshin. Let's go fish blasting. Fish blasting sounds like a sport needs to be- oh, wait a minute. I just realized. I was about to say fish blasting sounds like when you put a bomb in the ocean. That's literally what that means. That, 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 that literally means that, doesn't it? <laughs> when is the twerky fight? You know what? In 10 minutes, there will be a twerky. I'm lying. I'm sorry. I, I was gonna like try and improv my way to finding a twerky looking enemy. There's no twerky. Oh, it's got spike damage when it's down. Ah, oh, disgusting. But at least we get to fight like deer. That's pretty cool. It, it's it's Dialga, everyone. Sorry, no, I, I'm sorry. It's Arceus. Arceus. Tell me this shit ain't Arceus. Ah, shit, I healed the wrong person. It's fine. Let's just 
Let's just not deal with this. Let's just kill it. No joke, that is what happens to Klee, like, daily. What do you mean? Like, she actually, like... She actually blows up fish? Or she deshells crabs all day? Also, is that a real line from the game, or was that, like, a fake line? Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're doing damage. We're doing a lot of damage. Oh my god. Damn, this might be my team. Maybe I don't need Sharla for a bit. Born the World of Strife? Against the odds? We choose to fight? Blossom Dance! Oh, he did it! He did the speech! Oh, I don't even care that I died. He did the speech! Klee has CQNO. I don't know what that means. What is CQNO? He did the Opossum Dance. Is that like a sickness? Is Klee diseased? Is she the Klee's? Does she have a Klee Z's? Okay, that was a little rough, but we did it. Solitary confinement specifically. Clearly, it's a variant of CQC. That's literally what I was thinking. <laughs> That's actually what I was thinking. The terror, she plants bombs and puts a treasure sign on them. What? What is her problem? You're telling me this little five-year-old just goes around just like being a genuine menace? Which I actually kind of expected. I think one of the first things my friend Nat told me about her was straight up that, yeah, she is, like, legitimately a terrorist. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, isn't she, like, five? She knows not what she does. Gotcha. Got you. you know what? Fair. She is baby. Funny TikTok prank. Klee. How do you feel about Klee, Kay? Clay. That's an awful... <laughs> that's an awful fusion of your guys' names, damn. Clay. Wait, did we make it? Are we at the tree? Not yet. Shady, I thought this was your daughter. What did you teach her? You know what? I probably would teach something like that, huh? She'd probably see me doing it for, like, the lulls. I am a troll when I play with friends, at least, in games. I do anything that, like, messes with people for fun. Sometimes, sometimes. I like to be morally good most times in games, but, like, you know. You guys saw what I did to various creatures in Minecraft. <laughs> Me being like, ah oh, yes, I wanted to plant a block on top of this panda. And then I knocked the panda off a cliff by accident. In my first stream of the game. I love Klee, honestly. Nah, Klee's great. I know, I know like nothing about that game really. But Klee's just an adorable design. Plus she has bombs. And that's dope. Before I go, I almost forgot. Next week I'm going to go to my first concert since lockdown. Gonna be seeing the Gin Blossoms, one of my favorite bands ever. That's on type, dude. I've never ever, I'm not, never ever. I've never actually heard of them. But yeah, enjoy the concert, dude. And have yourself a lovely, lovely night. Get the sleep, do the sleeps. Sorry, oh yeah, that's right. Get, oh wait, that wasn't, that wasn't the sensor noise. Get, get, chin. Act. I messed that up. I, I, the whole bit's dead. The whole bit's dead. <laughs> Genshin Impact. <laughs> I guess is how that's going now. <laughs> Whoops. God, this song is so relaxing. Hang on, I just need a minute with this song. Mmm. That acoustic, man. Citrus fresh. <laughs> Yo, Citrus, thank you for the 24 months and not just a regular 24 months. That's 24 months on a tier two. My lord, man. Thank you so much, Citrus. I very much appreciate that. But because you're a tier two and it's been two years, you've been subjected to even more shadiation poisoning than anyone else. But, but because of that, you get to choose which limb you get to get from the radiation. Like whichever like new limb you want to grow on your body. It's your choice. But no, for real, dude. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so much for the support after all this time. And I hope you enjoy your time here, man. Klee canonically terraformed and enlarged a, la a lake due to a careless bomb usage. Are you being serious? That that's 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 kind of amazing. What? Um, it's so weird to see Shulkin in the outfit in my playthrough. I mostly kept them as an original. Oh, really? I loved having him in other stuff. There are times where he's dripless. This is the most drip outfit for... Like, I love this outfit. The Magna outfits for all the characters are my favorite. 
And, which means eventually we're gonna have some bad drip again. But man, I love his jungle fit. Gotta join the atmosphere on this one. Look at look how look at how pretty this shit is, chat. God damn. Thank you for the gifts up to B Guy Retro. What the hell? What do you mean B guys? What do you mean B guys on Twitch? What? What? Back in 2013, this B guy existed before B guy was an actual name. That's amazing. But also, thank you so much, Retro, and hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you so much for coming on by. Get the Sia or Lugas. We made it to the baby village just in time. You like the small scrimblows, right, Retro? You see, walk well there. <laughs> Here comes the voice again. If you want to go to Frontier Village, it's safe to go this way. No pun never lies, so you can believe me. Oh my god, this no pun is me. Me literally going, I never lie, you can believe me. Chat, smile. Anyways, we'll see more baby in a minute. I'm, I want to kill this giant here. Just to say I killed a big boy. Everyone, let's go. Hype train, oh my god, no. Dude, thank you so goddamn much, no. What the hell? Thank you for yet another hype train tonight, chat. I very much appreciate that once again. You absolutely do not have to fill the thing, but if you do fill the thing, thank you so much. I really, you know, do appreciate it, of course. Um, if you get to level 5, every character is naked for the rest of the stream. Oh, God. But also... But also, no, for real, though. You guys don't have to do the thing. But if you do, thank you so much. For every sub that you give, I will... Um... I will make up a new word. Yeah, I know. Crazy content that's absolutely worth it. That's not it at all. I'm speechless. Oh, I, I missed what they said again. My bad. Oh, no. Wait, Shady, you dropped this? I didn't. That's actually yours, Retro. You dropped that. I saw you drop it out of your own wallet. Citrus, what? Citrus. Citrus and Lazy Rock Badger. Wait, holy shit. Bruh. Okay, let me let me just thank in order. Citrus, first of all, thank you so much for 10 gift subs. What the hell? That is an insane amount. You really don't gotta do the thing, but thank you so much for doing the thing. Sweet Jesus. I really, I really, really appreciate that. I really do mean it though. You guys never, never, never have to do that. But thank you so much for doing that. And Lazy Rock Badger, thank you so much for the sub as well. And that's a first time sub too. So I hope you I really hope you enjoy your time around here and your ad-free experience and such as well. Thank you so much for throwing that my way. And, um, yeah, I just, I just hope, uh, I hope I live up to it, you know? Thank you so much, everyone. Christ. That is a lot. Well, I owe you 10 new words. Okay. Jengloid. Skooglo. Bip, Biptornia. How many is that? Three? Floors, floors a lobo. Sclub. Sneep a deep leap. <laughs> the, ed the etymology. Okay, I'll tell you about the sneep a deep leap. It's a small little round bug. It rolls at 5,000 kilometers per hour. And the only reason we had trouble finding it is because of how fast it's been moving. We finally found one that stayed still recently. Yo, Schlub's real. Thank you for the gifts up to Schlub. What the hell? Let's go, Schlub! Oh my god, thank you. Sorry, I can't think of a name. I really appreciate that. What the hell? Okay, wait. Okay, hang on, hang on. Six, I'm six words in. Okay. Uh. Me, me, memblorb. Alright. Lamb. Lamb. Lambs. Lamzo. Zena. 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 Zena barbels. <laughs> shh, shh. Don't tell them. Zena barbels. Um, but z, z yeah, yorb, yorb. Okay, that's ten. But there were also two subs after that. So, um, gl glossage, <laughs> glossage, actually, and finally, linguino, which is actually a disease you can get. Um, if you contract Linguino, it's... you're in trouble. Your hair falls out of your eyes. And you see Mario wherever you... Actually, you see... Actually, no, sorry. The hair the hair isn't too real. How is Linguino real? What? So 
sometimes I'm like, you know, sometimes I play up the, play it up a bit, but like, no way in hell that one's real. What? And Beefy Fist, what are you guys doing? Oh my god, another five gift subs, holy shit! Thank you so much, Beefy, for the five gift subs. Oh my sweet god, and thank you, sorry, Kimmy, thank you for the gift sub to Lingueno as well. Oh my god, alright, I have to get words for that too, but thank you so much, Beefy. You don't have to do the thing, but thank you so much for doing the thing. Holy shit, y'all are going crazy. Okay. Just for that, you'll get the extra lore in Lingueno. The, 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 the disease. Calming down. The disease. You actually see the secret third brother. Mario, Luigi, and Lingueno. He haunts you only when you have this disease. And you end up dying from insanity upon seeing him. Um, thank you so much, Sakurin, for the gifts up to Screebly. Is that even a word I made? I don't even know anymore. Holy shit, thank you so much. I gotta give you guys six more words now. Alright. Blabo. Scrablet. Derry Arimpton. Yeah, it's just like an ass. Uh, Letty Belly. Letty, sorry, Letty Betty. Bon Belly. That's an awful one, but don't don't use that one ever. Um, Sen Centrobo. Bear, per, 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 Perompson. Blomis. Skimothy. Theta Criterion with a gifts up to fe Ferozi, fer Ferozi, Ferozi bloke? Ferozi bloke? You know what? I might as well grind more just, just in case this keeps going, but I, I think it's about to end here. The hype train, but thank you so much, Theta Criterion. 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 Oh my god, it's still going. Holy shit, it might actually hit another level before it runs out. You're kidding me. And Letty Betty's real too? I might as well use this to grind. Um, thank you so much, Sakura and Theta Criterion, for the for the two gift subs. Holy shit. Alright. New word then. Oh, sorry. And, and it gives up the Keelix from Citrus, which thank you so much, Citrus. Once again, the, your support tonight has been, like, insane. Thank you so much for that. And Keelix is pod. QB, what? What in God's name is happening? How bad do you guys want naked characters? Oh my God. Thank you so much, QB, for five gift subs. Holy shit. How many words do I owe now? Oh my god, we might actually get the beach episode. Holy shit. I mean, I might as well... I, I should probably have it on the next stream then, so it's like an almost full stream. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. But it might happen. It might actually hit level 5. Sweet Jesus. Um, thank you so much for the 5 gifts of QB. For real, though. I really appreciate you support everyone. Once again, you don't have to feel obligated. You don't have to play into the hype or anything. You know, don't feel obligated. If you have something better to put your money first, please put it there, but... Thank you so much for throwing it my way. It does help out a lot, so, you know. Shirtless Elvis? I unfortunately can't give you that. Like, I legitimately can't. <laughs> if I could, I would. That is that is just not a game option. It does make a lad wonder, though, huh? Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, seven more names. Gweg. Which sounds like a version of saying Gweg, but it's not that. I swear. Um... Grand Grantho Blur Sinis Bleige Blur Which is not rhyming with synesthesia Eep Uh Torb Glibo Rand Randall Randall B Bimming Bimmington Bimothy. I already said Bimothy. So, no, I said Skimothy. His, his, his twin brother, Bimothy. Glebo? Geeblet? Even? Oh, God, I should have healed Gunban. These guys are doing a lot of damage now. Damn. Maybe it's not playing good. The hype was insane. Thank you so much for all of that chat. My God. Y'all are actually goaded with the sauce, and just for that. Okay, I'll tell you what, chat. If this doesn't fill to a level 5, I will at the very least, as a consolation, have a beach episode, like a, like a mini, like a few minutes of beach episode tonight. Or like a fair amount. Um, a few, a few, wait, what was that? How much was that? $15 your message here? Was that from QB? Wait, hang on, who was that from? So I know who to attack. You know, with kindness, Twitch, of course, it's with, it's with kindness, but... um. That was from QB. Thank you for $15, QB. What the hell? 
QB. You know you don't gotta be doing the thing. You you know you don't gotta be doing the thing. Thank you so much, man. Christ, well for fifteen dollars, I'll I'll do a beach episode IRL. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I won't, but like still. You know? Thank you so much, man. Christ. Yeah, you guys at the Shady Cicada hot tub stream, finally. Finally. If only, if only I had a hot tub. That's right, playing Xenoblade in the hot tub. No, but for real though, thank you so much, everyone. And thank you, QB, for the donation. The five gift subs from you as well. Legitimately insane. Thank you, Beefy. Thank you, Citrus. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to Only Smiles here. Thank you, all of you. Oh my god. Thank you for the gift subs to eat the best name I made yet. The best name I made yet. <laughs> thank you so much, Only Smiles. Um, you know, it's funny. There's actually a song called Eek. Except it's called Eek the Penis. And it's actually kind of a great song. It's actually kind of iconic these days. You'll hear it in a lot of YouTube videos without knowing that's what it's called. Um, but it's sick. What? You don't know about Eek the Penis? And no, I'm not making it up, I swear. This sounds like another, like, shady moment. I'm not making it up. Yeah, shady? Alright. Okay. Hey, all right. I mean, hey. Good. I'm going to mean my search history now. Sorry, I, I said it backwards. It's the penis eek. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> this song is 13 years old, chat. It's 13 years old, and it bangs, and it's kind of cute sounding. The name is just incredibly unfortunate. But I'm pretty sure that's what led to, you know, it being kind of viral. Older than you, you lie, Mel. You lie. Okay, wait. There we go. And thank you all for the hype train. Just for that, just for this hype train, I will have a brief moment of beach episode for you all. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. But seriously, real talk, thank you all so much for the hype train. I appreciate it so much, and it really does mean a hell of a lot. So thank you so much for keeping this whole train going. To me! To you! And we're feeling it as well. But first, there's a cutscene I want to see. There's a cutscene we need to see. Before we end the stream tonight. You know what? Let's do another chain attack here. Oh, we can't yet. Jeez. There we go. The song was apparently made in 2009. That's actually one I remember hearing it, funny enough. Back when I was 14 years old. Crazy. 14 to 15. Um, because my friend played it. And I was like, what is this? And he was like, I was just playing Counter-Strike. And this dude had it on his mic playing for the entire game. Until we asked what it was. Um, which is great. And thank you so much for the gift sub to Hot Sauce, Sonny. Hot Sauce very much deserves it. Hot Sauce is a very cool regular. A very hot sauce. I don't need to be dropping that. You already know. But still. Thank you so much for doing that, Sonny, and I hope you I hope you've been well. Alright, you know what? Here you go, chat. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Alright. Ekru. 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 Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold up. Ekru. Wait, no, hang on. Not the shit rifle. Alright, oh well. Keep it on for now. Ekru. 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 Okay. Alright. Beach episode briefly. Yep. The Crocs. I know, chat. They, they don't got good taste in shoes, I know. Ekru. Ekru. Everyone's getting Ekru'd. Alright. That's actually just a really, like, it looks like a nightgown type outfit. It's, it's really cute. Ekru. The beach episode. For at least a cutscene and some traveling. Christ almighty. Oh, see, dumb man. He couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle it. <laughs> oh, that's good. I already feel so much more agile and breezy. What do you mean, don't look at Melia? No one said that. Just doubted myself. Good job, Shady. 
Can we keep it when we get blank? You you want to see it during the blank scene? I guess it would add to it. Maybe. Maybe. Me when I take my clothes and drop off a rope bridge? Oh god. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Oh, you're gonna see soccer. That's where I'm gonna be ending the stream. Ah, bird lady. <laughs> Welcome back, bird lady. Yeah, they got their voices I wish finally. I to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? Oh my god. My pleasure. My, my pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> it's so good. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Oh my god. Yeah, everyone, everyone's hot. Don't worry, chat. You'll get a real naked character soon. And that's all I'm gonna say. It's not. But maybe. Maybe we'll get something extremely naked soon. Huh? Don't worry about it, chat. Yeah, we're dressed as much as no pawn. We're just fitting in. Except it looks so uncanny. <laughs> There's something so Baywatch about this. Home, home. Hello. Home here. Home here. Uh huh. Home who? Home who? Yeah. Uh huh. Home, home everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Me want touch home, home. Oh uh, no. Me want nibble home, home. No. <laughs> home, home taste. <laughs> this is how you guys talked about no pawns at the beginning of the stream. You guys said you wanted to eat and bite them. Holy shit. And also, Justice, welcome in. Thank you so much. Wait, I'm sorry. No Wait, I gotta read that. Village. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna read that in a minute. Hang Nelia on, Antigua Justice. Has returned. What are you accusing me of? I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird lady here. They know Melia. Why'd they call her Melia bird lady, Chet? Bird lady back. Bird lady? Bird lady? Yeah, what? Hmm? Hmm? Um, okay. Let me see. Shady came to my house and I had soup in the fridge. I was going to eat it later and told Shady, Hey, can you not eat my soup? I'm saving it for later, but he ate it anyway. Why would you do that, Shady? This is the biggest lie I've ever heard of my life. I'm only going to be nice because it's, it's birthday time. It's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. can't believe you tell such a lie, Justice. And what of your men? They uh, are at one with the Bionis. Yeah, they died. They got they eviscerated, unfortunately. They their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a Hom Hom need of me? Hom Hom, that's what they, they call Homs. They safe passage Adorable. to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. Sweet. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this Look region. at all the babies, though. Once these Homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. Hmm. So you just want to guide us and that's it, huh? That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like how much friends they are. They're very friend. Even when they just meet someone, they're very, they're still very friend. Like, hey, let's look out for them. Anyways, Justice, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Sorry about that. It was in the middle of a cutscene. You know how I be. Um, but it's good to see you as always. I hope you had a lovely stream. I'm going to murder Sunny for that message. Uh, effective now. <laughs> but nah, it's pretty good. But also, chat, I see you all trying to blame me saying it's not cool. I didn't eat Justice's soup. Okay? I didn't eat Justice's soup. Yeah, Justice, I had a whole thing where um, if I got enough on a hype train, I'd have a bit of a beach episode. So for a few more minutes... They are, uh, they are in beach mode. Everyone's naked. <laughs> and I tease chat, because you, you, I think, I'm pretty sure you know what comes here. Um, I tease chat saying, don't worry, chat. The, you're, you're, we're gonna have the most naked character of all time, like, you know, soon. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe I'm just lying. I do indeed know. <laughs> no Paul armor, huh? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting, interesting. Um, no. Nope. All right, we can sell some shit. Oh, wait. Um, up my weight a bit. Why not? Can't see what those boots are yet, but why not? Stop smiling. <laughs> no, I, I promise that the, the tease itself is actually a good tease. Um, What's coming up is one of my favorite cutscenes in, in the entire game. And it's going to be one of your favorites. Ooh. 
Well, I'm sorry. This sword is also known as the Annihilator. Holy shit. Yeah, that's for Dunban, all right. Christ. Northern Pike. Sure. Well, no new Monados. There's only one. All right, let's sell some stuff. All right. Oh, wait, you know what? Let me keep these uh, random uh, biters we keep getting for who, to, who who knows. And King Frog. Who knows? Actually, I'll keep some of my shit just in case, maybe? Nah, screw it. I'm selling. Is it possible to even change Shulk's weapon at this point? Nah, you're locked in. Such is, such is the man of destiny. Such is the way of the man of destiny. Homie is locked in. Yo, Honey Rhubarb? Streaming live right now? That sounds like a name for me or a name for like a VTuber. Actually, how many of these could be VTuber names? Ash Fox, Black Iris, Kelp Mushroom sounds like me. Cute Parsnip would be a sick VTuber name. Um, Lemon Stone could work. Sunflower Rogue could work. They could be like a thief. Like a cute thief. Um, Pyro Lizard sounds like a Mega Man boss. Um, I'm gonna be Sour Gooseberry. That's gonna be my VTuber name. Yeah. Rubber Mantis. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid ass sounding name. Rubber Mantis. Rubber, <laughs> Rubber Mantis. <laughs> So sorry. I'm so <laughs> it's good. Good job, me. I'm so funny. Rubber man tits. No way you pass Verdant Eternity. That name goes hard. Was that in there? I didn't see it. Yo, what's going on, DJ? How you doing, bud? I showed them the... um. I told them how you sent me the video of that like that kid getting folded in that Kung Fu movie. So I showed them all on stream. And their, their reaction was as visceral as you, as you would think it would be. Oh, man. Hmm. Also, yeah, some of chat has started calling me a uh, skibbity cicada. Just thought you should know. <laughs> um, what do I give her, chat? I'll give her this. I'll wait. I'll give her some weight up. Why not? All right. Let's see. Um, no. Twin tree vest for our boy. Twin tree vest for our girl. Um, let's see. Some good gloves. Magna gloves for two of them. What about you? Nope. Hang on, let me just get the drippy here and I'll look back in a minute. Ooh, good ether defense on this one. Holy shit. That's gonna be good. No, I need more money. Oh, I need more money. Shit. Okay, hang on. I can manage this. E-boy cat. Holy shit, that's a winner. Oh my god. Shout out to Noma for this god-awful bot. Okay. Beach episode is now over. But we'll come back to it. I, you know what, chat? I'll give you another one soon. For the amount of support y'all been given. You'll get another beach episode, I promise. But I, well, I, I, I love, I love the fits, chat. Oh god, not that fit though. Look at that. That looks sick. All right, I want to look like a goddamn parrot. That is the fit that I am looking for in my life. Let's see, e boy cat. I still can't believe like how many words Noma put into that bot. Jesus Christ. Yo, all right, it's working. It's working. It's a little funny, but it's working. Okay, one second here. No Paul gear. That's not for No Paul gear. Colonel. How do I stop the No Paul gear? Oh shit, he's back to classy. I don't think the gloves were for him. I guess the rest is for our girl here. Oh, that looks dripless. She's looking so dripless. It's like it's getting unfortunate, chat. Oh, hang on. Hang on, we're bringing her back. She's so back as the kids say. Hang on. Hang on. Bo where's the bottoms? What bottoms? Dope, though. I mean, it does have agility up. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Chat gonna be like, hmm, shady? Okay, but also, I forgot we had to buy stuff for Melia. It's just she's not in the party right now. That's fine. We can work with this. Why not? Those tattoos, though. The tattoos are sick, aren't they? The tattoos are super sick. My name is Goku, and I am a super sick... I've been rewatching. I, I think I've been telling you all, but I've been rewatching um, Dragon Ball Z. I'm on the Namek arc. I finally got to where Goku catches up, or you know, he he finally comes into the fight uh, against Frieza, and uh, just my God, I keep forgetting how like <laughs> how OP Frieza is. And there's a whole torture Vegeta. Ep there's a whole Vegeta torture episode, which uh, is wild. I forgot how like bloody and shit that was. 
Charla has cooling fan exhaust on her thighs. Can't cover them at all. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a Hideo Kojima type of, like, excuse. Remember when Hideo was like, you will regret your actions when you find out, like, why Quiet dresses in nothing. And it's because her skin breathes. Wild. And also she feeds via photosynthesis. Vegemite. Why would you bring such a cursed product into our into our home, Sakurin? Puko. Look at the little houses, by the way. They're like little hobbit houses. Let me accept. Cute ass voices. I'm like I'm gonna accept your quests. Taima, did you watch? Did, didn't you watch rewatch re DBZ like a year ago? You know what? I probably did. I probably did, DJ. I, I've been like like that. That's one of my like obsessive like. That's one of the um, as the hip ones say, the hyper fixations. Dragon Ball Z is like the one for me. Like, cause now, if I run out of to, if I run out of like content while I'm eating, or I need quick content while I eat, throw on a Dragon Ball Z episode, <laughs> and you already know about me and my eating thing, with watching shit. It's funny. I've been seeing it become more of a meme recently, where it's like I now like sentence you to eating without a video to watch, and I'm like, holy shit. That, that that's me. That's me. If I have to hear him say, I have to hear him say Super Saiyan one more time. It's so funny to see, like, the parallels between, like, Team 4-Star and, like, some of the shit that happens in Dragon Ball. Because some of it is, some of it straight up, like, isn't even parody. It's just straight up, like, what happened, but, like, exaggerated. And, it, like, it's so funny in that sense. Hideo really could have just went, I like women. I, you know, it's funny. I said that exact same thing. Yoko Taro did it. They were like, oh, why is 2B like that? And he's like, I just like women. And it's like, yeah. Speak your truth. Same here, bud. Ricky's house. Who the hell is Ricky? I don't care. Probably cringe. I'm gonna keep moving. Very big house, though, huh? Hmm. Hmm. You see all the new TFS clips in the one dude's review? I didn't, and I've been following... Like, that's one of my favorite channels right now. Totally not, Mark. I haven't seen his Boo Saga one yet, though. His Cell Saga one hits real hard, though. It's real good. Ooh. Look at that scenery, lads. God damn. God damn, this area is so cool. So we see there's a question about why 2B wears high heel boots while running around fighting. Uh, yeah, it's very impractical, but it is what it is. You know, you, you know the best kind of fan service is, is if you have also have fan service for just like everyone. Make every character hot. Why not? Xenoblade does that pretty damn well, I'd say. Um, yeah. No issue in making them hot. In my eyes, at least. Now, there is a difference where if they're like straight up treated like a sex object, then that's a whole different thing. Oh gosh, she still has- <laughs> We didn't get a chance to give her the clothes back. Right after all that talk too, huh? That's good. That's really good. She left the party before we could put the goddamn fits back on. God damn it. Yo, what's your name? I'm sorry, aren't you a villain in Dragon Ball? Sorry, no, never mind. His name is Dabi Dabi. Sorry, he's a villain in My Hero Academia. Sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I do like My Hero Academia sometimes. <laughs> there are moments where I fall off hard, and there's moments where I'm like, yo, this story is actually legit. Um, I will do sp I will do spectacular jump off diving board. I may have small bodies, but I have big heart. Oh, wait, that's really cute. <laughs> I will dive right in. I, I love these babies. All right, Melia. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Enjoy Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <sighs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that oh, have died. Oh, that's right. She wants to get revenge on Telethia, huh? That makes sense. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Oh? Wounded did, by a girl. Did he finally put together what Elvis said? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? Also, I talk <gasps> in the cutscenes in chat. How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... Who are you? The Monado. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. 
It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia... The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia... Well, thanks for opening up. We can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... I want... We just want to help. Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. Damn, that's I a roast. <laughs> would like to help. What oh my god. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Hmm. Fighting that faced Mechon. Interesting. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. Interesting. It threw me the first time and all. Oh. Forgive me, Shulk. Don't you guys but get what? What are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future. And you expect me to believe this rubbish? <laughs> believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. What? Well, <laughs> That'll be me then. Oh yeah. <laughs> In any <laughs> case, he laughs about that. The only that. reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. <laughs> oh if yeah. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face Mechon, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Yeah, Dumbbell? Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require I just, no I assistance just realized which vibe kind. she gives me. Chat. My dear, I apologize, this is no more. <laughs> but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The it's danger like the same personality. extends much further <laughs> than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk, <laughs> and we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Yes, Chief Dunga, I. I need the finest warrior no of your clan. Need for thanks. It's time. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom. -hom. He is the better of the Hom. -hom you do know chat. we're listening. He is the better of the, the Homs. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. Yes. I shall yes. go ahead it's and time. prepare him. Okay. Please. If you've never seen this game me. before, this is one scene where even if you're lurking, you need to see A this. Nopon hero. Now this I have to see. Even Ryan has Don't to be see like it. That. Let's meet him first. They're like, let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. All right. Here comes the best character in the entire game. Let me put some clothes back on Melia really quickly, though. Dunbang, give me some Professor Layton vibes. You know, I still got to play that, like, that damn series. It always looks so good. Okay, hang on one minute. Remove the Ekru. No, I have to. I must. It's only fair. Plus, her fit's so good. Look at that. Her fit's so good. Looking like a bucket of cotton candy. Okay. And yes, I, uh, I immediately have to think of sweets and food. I know, but still. You guys think I can make it to that lake? Yeah, I can make it. Oh, God. All right. Underground store. I hit, I hit the ground so hard. It detected the underground store. That's dope. That's really good. <laughs> Unless, un unless something else happened there, but that's really funny if that's what really happened there. All right, here you go, everyone. All right. May I introduce Herapon Ricky? It's Ricky. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Little man. Get off me. Rear, rear. To you. <laughs> right in the take this bubble. <laughs> Why did he do that? Why did he do that? He even made the dodgeball rubber noise. This poor little man. He really is the go DJ. Oh my god. Oh no, he's a hard carry. To you Absolutely. This year's legendary Herapon, <laughs> Ricky. There he is, everyone. The legendary hero pun. Ah. This reaction face is so good. New home home friends. 
Meet this year's legendary hero upon Ricky. Ricky, live to serve. Tell me you don't love this little man. <laughs> oh my god. This guitar riff is sampled, by the way. We found this out recently. A hero upon you say. I'm not sure where you'll come in handy. It's also in a Sonic song. Sure. Are these Tanith here as strong as they sound? Also, yes. the audio is going to go over the quick as lightning, voices here, but... Mind. A mind-reading giant bird. No problem. The song gets really inappropriate here. Through the Monado, but even that's not enough to get the better of them. And we're going up against the daddy version. Yeah? No one blink for a second. Okay. There's like grief. Eyes wide open. Well, you'll see. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Aerith Sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target. But don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumbbands right. <laughs> I am in your debt. Like, My weakness like is this is sad, but why is this song still no worries, going? <laughs> My friends died. Mirror, 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 mirror. What you refer like, to Like, what's going on? <laughs> Be safe, my hum -hum This is the one friends. part that always made me giggle, because I'm like, this this had to be a mistake. Like, Ricky twice. Friends, listen to Ricky. Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. I will help you get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? <laughs> Ricky's friend, right? Hum hum clever. <laughs> friends meet Ricky when ready. He flies. Friends, friends and Ricky leave together. He flies. We got you for a furry footrest. <laughs> furry Dino footrest? Dino is big and scary. <laughs> Great. That'll come in handy. Bro. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries? I like how they're all questioning this small little blob, like he can't do anything. Chat. Chat. He's he's one of the best party members in the entire game. I shit you not, he's going to be one of my mains, like, just now. He's actually really good. Me? Um, but yes, Ricky is a party member. He's the party member. So, um... Hope you enjoy that. But yeah, that's one of my favorite sun scenes. When they, what, sun scenes? My favorite cutscenes where they just spike him like a ball. This poor man. Just one of the best? Okay, you're right. You're right. He is the best party member ever. <laughs> but he kind of is like one of my favorite party members in like any JRPG ever. So yeah. Also, um, you might be wondering why his house is so big. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to tell you this though. It's not because he's rich. <laughs> it's a lot funnier than that. It's, like, a lot funnier than that. But yeah, let's get his gear real quick, and then we'll see. Alright, Warrior Nasher. Finally, Happy Happy isn't a spoiler anymore. Yeah, it's not a spoiler anymore. He has a, All his moves are really funny. He's got stuff like Happy Happy, Bitey Bitey, Roly Poly. Ready to go. And Happy Happy Come is such a friends. sick Ricky's move. Adventure begins. Look at him. Ricky, you do know where the Teletia is, don't you? Of course Ricky know. Melly. Ricky, Melly. here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky know it go to place with ether crystals. And cause he, and cause Friends he's a legendary hero. Ricky upon. go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. <laughs> so you do know a thing or two about this monster. He's so small. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. Man's like two ounces actually no he's like multiple ounces that's a chubbo a little chub but i love him look at him round man ricky why are you the hero upon why because chief dunga choose ricky why did he, he choose him you. why did he choose him chat so you weren't chosen from birth hmm? friend wrong chief choose by instinct did he choose <laughs> hmm. by instinct why friend surprised chief have sharp instinct Chief be village seer. Mm. So that's how you became the hero pawn. Can't argue with that. But he is kind of compact. Compact for a warrior hero. He's compact. Oh, Ricky oh, There it is. He's in village. debt chat. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, <laughs> village promised to forget my debts. He's the hero pawn to save the day so he can repay debts. He's in so debt. So Ricky like being hero pawn. I... <laughs> Now, that might make you wonder how old Ricky is. And to that, I say, I'm not going to answer that yet. Same with Melia. Just just know that this is, this is the dream team. 
Um, now, I might swap between some members and stuff, because I, I was having fun with Melia there. That's like the best I've ever done with Melia, so I might bring her back later, but... Yeah, at the moment, here you go. Um, let me see if I could put anything on him. We could buy another... Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the little tiger fit? Let's go. <laughs> Yo, the pants? My man's wearing pants? Oh my god. Mm. Oh, yo! What the hell was that? Man's going to the goth club. Anyways, we can't really equip any of these. None of these are, like, doing good. I could go buy some more, but... I think he'll be fine. I think his defense is good enough. So if you guys don't know, Ricky's also kind of a tank. But Ricky is a jack-of-all-trades in a sense, but not really. He, he, he can heal everyone. He can feel the party meter for chain attacks reviving. He can topple an enemy without inflicting break. There's a chance. His, his move called Roly Poly can just inflict break right out, like, right off the bat. Um, he, can, he, he can literally bite people and make them bleed. It's literally called Bitey Bitey, which is such a gremlin-ass move. Um, here, let, let me see. What else has he got? Sneaky. He can sneak up from behind to deal some damage. So he's got, like, his own backslash. Um, I'm gonna get some Bitey Bitey in there. Uh, Lurgy. I guess it's short for allergy, but he can he can poison people. Um, he throws petals, making the enemy placid. I don't even remember what placid... Chat, what does placid mean? Because it ain't the other thing. Freezenate. He can freeze them. Here's the roly-poly. I want to bring this up. Here's happy... Oh, actually, we, 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 we want to fill happy happy. Happy happy needs to be filled. Um, you can do it. Restore HP to the party. The more debuffs, the more HP restored. Good. Paralyzed. Okay, that's what I thought. The Eropon charges ahead with a blessed aura surrounding him. Ricky plays dead. Enemies ignore him, allowing a surprise attack. And yeah, you, you know, just, just, just a small Ricky corpse for, you know, gameplay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Actually, while we're here, we should probably buy some more. Look at him. Look at, look at his running animation, by the way, chat. Look at that. He's so orb. I wonder if we could buy more of the stuff for him. Play that is nuts. Play that is... Oh, my God. Oh, Ricky's so good. God bless. All right. Bitey, bitey. Happy, happy. Good. All right. Uh, Next stream, if someone remembers. Next stream, remind me to buy... Actually, you know what? I can do some right now. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me see if I can give him King Frog. We did pick it up way earlier. Anyways, we are about done now. I'm not going to go towards, like, the boss or anything. Um, oh, wow. It's actually worse than what he has now, which is his default. Then what's the point? Um, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to call it around here. We are going to do fan art. Once again, if you are new here, first of all, welcome. Just know that at the end of every single stream, there is a fan art segment. Chat draws art for the stream based on the jokes that we make or the, the games that we play. So Xenoblade stuff, you know, in this case. Um, but... Uh, also stuff about me or my little mascot balloon guy. Um, if you're down to check it out, that's going to happen in just a minute while we play some chill Nintendo music or chill whatever. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We also have a Discord if you want to join. You can just type exclamation mark Discord. It's actually in the chat right now. Uh, Nightbot has a link. You can feel free to click on that if you want to join. It's up to you. Um, lurkers are also welcome in the Discord. You can talk about video games, anime, whatever. Uh, with me and the lads. You get to know when I go live because I make announcements. <clears throat> and you can share your own art for the stream in the uh, channel called Stream Art. Just make sure it's either related to me or um, a joke we made or like the games that we have played or are playing. Make sure it's not something you drew in like five seconds in MS Paint for attention. So no stick man going, ah. And um, you could submit up to five pieces of art every single stream. Five pieces max, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good max. Um, there's also a channel called Your Art. Submit your own original art and just show it off. And one for music as well. So feel free to join along. And um, I'm considering making a temporary Xenoblade channel. Maybe. I mean, I don't really see a huge point unless people who haven't played the game want to talk lore. But I guess I'd have to do a check. Like, I might make an announcement and see if some people in, like, in the Discord want to, like, have that. Um, but yeah, I thought about, like, big lore games like this that I stream. It might be fun to have channels dedicated to them while I stream through it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I shouldn't be selling all of these like this, but like, um, I'm only selling a few from each pack here. I, and don't worry, sorry, I can't think of my name. Have yourself a lovely, lovely night. Thanks for coming on by. Hope you enjoyed. And thank you once again for, you know, 
being around, and for the support. Take it easy, homie. Okay. That is a lot of money now. Perfect. Now we can buy some good shit. Well, first of all, I noticed gear for Ricky here that we can get him. The twin tree vest. Okay. I think those are the pants, so I guess we're going to have Ricky wearing pants, if that makes you all happy. Um, and sneaky. We'll use that for now. Okay. Let's give Ricky a pair of dumbass looking pants. Jesus Christ. Ricky pants. He is now not the most, like, he, he's not the most naked character anymore. I mean, actually, wait, no, he still is. On a ratio, he is... Th yeah, finally, Ricky can be decent. <laughs> I can't wait for the next stream, because Justice, I... I like, you... I, I'm sure you remember the, the other lore that, that hits after we do this boss fight about Ricky that we learn. We learn about it in this village, actually. Um, but we'll wait. We'll wait. I think it's going to be a fun reveal for chat. It's one of the things... It's one of the pieces of lore that, like, really makes you love his character. It also makes you go, wait, what the hell is this game? It's so good. It's so funny. All right, good job. Okay. I think right here is the best place to call it. Because if I don't stop, I'm going to keep going forever. Which I want to do. But we'll save it. Now, just because it's called Xenoblade Weekends, it doesn't mean it's going to be just for the weekends. Um, I may call it Zekens and still stream during the week. Because I'm kind of addicted to the game. And I'm kind of really loving chat's reactions. And uh, God, this playthrough is going so well. I'm so happy with how this playthrough is going. It's a stream that never ends. Bet. Zeke ends and Zeke's. All my Zeke's play... Yeah, when you're a Xenoblade fan, you're now a Zeke. But Z-E-K-E. -E. Extra story. <gasps> no, 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 we're not doing that. Why am I going to the event? Oh, so cool thing about the event theater chat. If you want to know how much effort they put into this goddamn game. You can set the cutscene... But you can actually change the time of day or the weather, depending on the cutscene. And the equipment of the cutscene as well. So you can make it nighttime. You can make Shulk wear whatever the hell you want. So if you want to have Naked Beach episode... Did you also see we were allowed to pick Fiora for this one? Because this is when Fiora, you know, was around. Rest in peace. I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to see that. But still, we could have them doing volleyball with Ricky while wearing beach clothes. But anyways, that's it for now. Maybe I'll come back and do some more this week. Maybe even tomorrow if I'm feeling it, you know? Oh, so many games. You know what? I am ready for that Among Us Switch Pro. I'm ready for that Switch 2. Um, gonna be almost seven years. I'm ready. I'm ready. I got I got games. I got games. So hit me with it. All right. I'm gonna get some music. We're gonna get some art. And I... We'll get started because I'm starving. All right. That was Xenoblade. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will probably be streaming more this week. That is the plan. So uh, feel free to come on by for some more Xenoblade. Maybe some more Zelda. Maybe something else as well. Uh, next week will probably be the P.O. Box stream where I'll open stuff you guys sent me. All the goobs. All the good goobs. All right. Anyways, let's let's get a screen going. Let's let's use let's use QBs today. All right, let me get some music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh! Oh, starting with a banger tonight. Oh. Ooh! Hang on. Hang on. I don't even play this series, but this is I think this is my favorite Sonic song though. Hang on. Hang on. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. She makes one do the cabbage patch. Woo! Bop, 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 bop. Mm, mm. Dude, how do you write something like How do you write this? Tell me. So I can steal it. <laughs> makes me want to do the cabbage patch, DJ. You know, you know, the old, the old, the old shit. That dumb shit. <laughs> also, wait, did I get something? Oh, Taffy! Holy shit! Dude, happy one year- how's it, how's it been a year already? Holy shit, Taffy. Thank you so much for a year worth of resubs. Uh, you were always welcome here. You know? I don't know why I said it like that. Like, it, like it sounds like you're not welcome here. Yeah, you, you know, you're always, like, welcome here. 
Um, no, you, you are. It's always a pleasure to have you here. It's been a pleasure having you for almost a year and seeing all, you know, having the fun banter with you, seeing all of your amazing art, um, using some of your amazing art. And one of the most popular emotes we have now, Cicada Shock as well. Shoutouts to that as well, because it's so good. Thank you so much for everything, Taffy. Thank you for just being a good lad around here. A good bud. Um, always good to have you. Okay, it is? Oh yeah, people use it a lot. I see it being used in like other chats and shit pretty often. It's up there on like some Cicada Love vibes. Alright, everyone. Art? Ort? You guys ready for some Ort? Shit, it do be making me want to do the Cabbage Patch for real, though. Uh, give it a good swing. <laughs> Start swanging. Okay. Better, 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 better now. Oh my sweet god. Sorry, I just... I saw some Reinhardt. I got a glimpse of Reinhardt by Pan Plants. I'm not gonna... You, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. I'm gonna... We're, 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 we're gonna get to that one eventually, but we do have some art beforehand. Sorry? Yeah, you should be sorry. <laughs> what in God's name did you release upon this world? It, it's amazing. Don't worry. It's actually sick, but we'll, we'll get to it. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me get to this here. Mm -mm -mm. God, it's such a good song, dude. Okay. The first piece of art. I have to sneeze. Don't, if you're gonna do it, do it now. Dumbass nose. Come on. Stupid ass, sneezy ass nose. Come on. Yeah, that's right. I started doing this lately to stop myself from sneezing. And it actually kind of works. Anyways. This first piece of art is amazing. It comes from my mom said it's my turn on. They said, oh, looky, another anniversary drawing. This one, uh, this is one, this one is my second favorite fan art I've ever done. Bee guy in the back rooms. Also, I'm hosting a small house party, so pray for me. Well, since that was a few days ago, I hope it went well. I hope it went well, uh, my turn. And, uh, this is, it's one of my favorites too. The perspective is amazing. The face is adorable. The back rooms are great. And I, I feel like something's back there, but I can't. Okay, I, I don't know if you planted something there, if that's just part of a graphic, but I saw that shimmering over there, and I was like, what is that? Um, this is absolute. I think it is just the lighting. It's just one of the lights. It's one of the ceiling lights. Um, very, very well done. It's just Bee Guy in the back rooms, and he is spooked. How did, how did I get here? It's been five years? Where, where the f am I? No, I'm kidding. He would never swear. I made that up, but... Really, really good work. You know what gives me fear about the back rooms chat? Whenever I see it, see it, the figure around the corner. Wait, there's a figure? Oh! Bro, how did I look at the light and not see the figure? Oh my god, thank you for pointing that out, uh, Code. And also welcome in, Code. Wow. Yeah, that, that that's that's a goober, all right. Oh my god. Looking like a Stretch Armstrong kind of beat. One of those aliens you toss at the wall in her hand stick. Um, that's freaky. That's amazing. But yeah, no. One of the reasons I fear whenever I see the back rooms is because it reminds me of my old job. Um, because I used to do cabling. And uh, I used to work in offices that always looked like the back rooms. And I had to like, you know, you know, move those damn drop ceilings up there to run the cables through and everything. And uh, there are a lot of times where I'd be the only one there, which wasn't bad. I actually preferred that because I could just play music and like do the job. Um, but it can be eerie sometimes. I remember one time I had to do a job for a client and it was... Uh, um, it was at like 4 a.m. Uh, because it was a nighttime thing. It was in the mall. So it was when they closed, I had to be there. So it's like after, and it, by the way, it was La Senza. To those who don't know, it's like a women's lingerie store. Um, <laughs> and when I worked at one of them, did the cabling. When I, when I arrived there, one of my friends coincidentally walked in there. And at the time she wasn't really like, she was more of like an acquaintance at the time. And she saw me there just like lurking and walking around, looking at the bras and shit. Cause I'm just waiting to do the job. She's like, Kiefer, what are you, what are you doing here? And I'm like, uh, work. <laughs> it's work, I swear. Um, but yeah, that was that was a whole ass job. It was good. It was it, honestly, I liked it though. I, I did like the job. But yeah, anyways, uh, my turn. I love this art so much. Like I said, the perspective, the lighting, everything about this is amazing, and I can see why it's a second favorite. It's definitely a big favorite of mine as well. Amazing work, and um, you know. I like seeing you do stuff on the cartoony side as well. Very, very good work. All right. Incredibly awkward. I, I usually like, I, I like, I ended up owning up to it in the end just to make it like even funnier. I'm like, yeah, so what? So what? Yeah, I'm around. I'm around all the bras. So what? And then she giggled and it was fine. Um, 
But it's it's so funny whenever shit like that happens. Next up is from QB. They said, looking sharp, B guy. Oh shit, literally. Hang on. Spike, spike mode activate. <laughs> there we go. That's the spikes coming out. That's so cute, QB. Holy shit. The, the balloon getting spikes is such a sick detail as well. I love that. I love that. I want to... <laughs> I want to see this as a power-up now. Because, I mean, like, we had the whole thing with, like, past hip tomes having spikes and stuff. So maybe the vestigial thing is now the spikes are inside. And he can just spawn them at will. That's so cute. The balloon having spikes is wild, too. Finally, he, he actually achieved a form where the balloon doesn't pop. Sick as hell. Very... Very, very cute work, as always, QB. And it's funny you mentioned that, Mini, saying that the um, the balloon is secretly a spiny, because someone in the Discord said that, and then QB responded with this. So, good eye. Um, That is so cute. Look at the surprise on his face. He's like, what? what, what? Huh? How did you... But you're a balloon. You're, you're not alive. What? You know? It, it's so cute. Very good. And once again, like on the expressions too. QB, QB hits so hard with some with some of this cute ass art, man. Very, very good, QB. And um, well, he just accidentally gave life, created life from his goddamn spike balloon. Very, very good work. Um next up we got two pieces of art from Retro. We have first of all, a B guy waving. Now is he saying goodbye or hello? The decade of the century, the one that really makes you think, gamers. Game theory comes in. B guy waving is actually both goodbye and hello to represent the seven sins. Also, he's died seven times, and each wave is a is a hello to the afterlife. This is real. I'm sorry, I never said this is real. I don't watch game theory, so I don't I don't actually know if that's how it goes. Um also he's sans. He's actually half of Kirby. He got cut in half. Um, but no, for real. I, I love this. Very, very cute retro, as always. And the second piece of retro. Kind of, not really. All right, close enough. Close enough. I'm not game theory. I'm game theory. Not fury, but like fear E. Like you fear video games and lore. Uh, next up is also from retro. And it's B-Guy with Tama, which is a OC of retros. And they actually give me like hard V, V, I almost said VTuber. They give me VTuber vibes. Um, and that's a compliment, by the way. Just, just had to say that. That is a compliment. Um, looks very, very good. It, can, it like, it gives me like a, um, who am I thinking of? I think like, I, I see like, um, it doesn't matter, honestly. It, 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 like, it looks really cute. It's a really good design. Very good. VTubers deserve the mountains. I don't even know what that means, but I agree if it's affectionate. What would be derogatory mounds like banishing a VTuber to like the Himalayan? Holy shit. There's gonna be- uh, one day someone's gonna stream that. It's like Nyaner's when she was like, Hi, I'm at the beach, and we're gonna go throw car batteries into the ocean. I don't watch her, but I've seen that clip. Um, but yeah, very- <laughs> She was like, we're throwing car batteries into the ocean, and like, it's virtual reality, but she just took some car batteries to just start throwing them in. Um, very, very good art, as always, Retro. I also love the addition of the little fang as well. Fangs are a sick part of design. It's true. It's true. It ups your character's vibe by 10%. Anyways, very, very good. Thank you so much. Um, whoa. Hang on. The next piece of art is the one I teased you all about. Are you ready? While this weird music plays in the back. From Pan Plants. They said, with oil, he'd be unstoppable. I was putting effort into this and then realized I didn't want to do that. No, no, no. Pan, this is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> now, you all asked earlier, who would win the twerk off, Ryan or Dunban? And pretty much all of us argued that Dunban would win. Ema even came back in to be like, he can yoinky sploinky, he can do it. Well, there you go, everyone. <laughs> you have to live with making this? No, 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 no. That's a good thing, Pan. This is legendary. Leg legitimately, I love this. One, because it's Xenoblade art tonight. And I do love getting Xenoblade fan art. The second thing is that how in what in the what in God's name? What in God's name? And his face and everything too. Like that's perfectly his face. I get food and come back to see this. <laughs> Hi, Ice Dice. Welcome to the fan art segment. You don't remember when this happened in Xenoblade? 
Yeah, this this happens. It's canon. This happened in Magna. Oh, where where is he? He looks like he's around like the ether pit, like the ether river. <laughs> oh, there's a Goku meme you use for reference. Oh, so this you actually didn't use Omni Man for this? Because like Omni Man. Oh, never mind. There is a Goku one. That's right. There is a Goku one as well. Oh my god, it's so good though. Like actually, really really good job. Really good job on the face. And of course, Pan, your art is always lovely. Um, always creative, and sometimes very funny like this one. Thank you so much for, you know, throwing in some art as always. And also, you know, if I am complimenting stuff, uh, great job on the hair as well. Ooh, Pikmin music. Amazing, Pan, thank you for blessing us. You see? You see, Pan? You did good. Yeah, yeah, the Broly one. The Broly one's the one I know. Or the, um, it, like, it, you remember the one where, like, it, it, like, Jesus? It's like a comic with Jesus. And there's a bunch of, like, anime characters trying to pick up the cross, and he's, like, heavy, isn't it? And one of the people trying to pick it up is just twerking Broly. That shit, that shit's wild. I'm working on a special piece that will be revealed soon. I can't wait to see, Pen. I, I, ser seriously, I, I can't wait to see. Um, so I, I look forward to it. Um. Next up, oh my god. Bro. QB. QB said, to you. To me, to me, to you, to... And then they said, I made two sets. Uh, feel free to try and use whichever one you like more. Also, I tried for so long, but my iPad didn't want to make them transparent, so I did the next best thing. Don't worry, I can work this. I can work this into transparency, but... Um... Uh, potential, uh, to me, to you emotes chat? I, I might try and add these tonight, actually. Um, to see how they look, but there you go. Thank you, QB. That would be... This would be so sick to use. Th this would be so sick to use. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, if chat really enjoys using them, perhaps we can even keep them for as long as we play Xenoblade games until like the trilogy's over. We'll see. But either way, let's see if they work first. These are pretty sized to the, to the square, so this should come out pretty damn well and pretty legible. If it doesn't, QB made a version where it's just their faces. Um, so if to, to you, oh, wait, no, hang on. Sorry, it's at the bottom. Oh, I see, I see. Wait, hang on. Shit, which one do I like more? Maybe, maybe the above one, actually. I'll try the above one first. Oh, these are good, QB. Thank you so much, Q, for, for real. I very much appreciate that, and I will, I will add them tonight. Glad you like them. Yeah, man, they're sick. As the, as the kids say, they're, they're real swiggity swig swig. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what I'm saying. Stop me, please. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Um, And next up, we have 2.5 two pieces from retro and these are these are the final art this is the final art for tonight also splatoon music hell yeah um from retro i said that already they said i it's been six months i miss drawing him okay chat i'm zoomed in a lot but um wow guess who this is everyone do you know if you solve this you have you have won the shady trivia quiz and you win seven points all right you got it that's right it's super mario it's woodwood but it's a really, really cute Woodwood. Like, he's so he's really chubby in this one. I didn't think you could make wood chubby. And no one say anything funny from that. Okay? I just meant, you know, like, tree. Um, but very, very cute retro, as always. And uh, he does deserve some love. We do love Woodwood around here. Our beloved boy. All praise. All hail. Uh, something, something. Uh, cool guy. Uh, it's uh, fun boy. Um, he's, he's more bark than bark. I don't know. Some other slogans are in there. But very, very good work. I also made versions where I swapped Shulk and Ryan's words. Oh, I thought you were about to say, like, me, you, or like, sorry. Me, to, to you, to me. You, two and you, me. I thought it was going to be you, two and you, me, but I, I realize what you mean. <laughs> I realize what you mean. Oh, God. Um, Thank you so much for the effort, QB, for real. And thank you so much for this retro. Very, very good job. And very cute. Um, Retro... Then finally made this. They said, why did I make this? He's out for blood. And it's, I want blood. And spread it on toast. See, I feel like he doesn't know what blood is here. But I feel like here he might know what blood is. With the menacing shading that you did. Um, well. What, what did you do, chat? What did you do to make him want this? Who told him that blood was yummy? And that it's fine to just take it from someone? Because I know someone did that. He doesn't get these urges, chat. I'll find out who it was. 